Um, <laughs> so are you guys are you guys ready to play some some D and D? Yes. Hell yeah! All right, let's have some fun. Last week on Stranded in Strahd, our party found out that Guilty has severed the deal that the Vistani had with her or Strahd previously. They are no longer allowed to leave the Mists of Barovia. They're stuck here just like everyone else. The group also found out that the uh, church was having an issue. Some bones had been stolen. They tracked it down. It was a fun little side quest. They found out that one of the young youths of the uh, of uh, Barovia stole them to make a profit. And they had sold them to the coffin maker who wanted to make the church unprotected from Strahd's attacks. After dealing with several vampire spawn and burning down the coffin maker's shop, <laughs> that was, they, uh, that was a great battle. Lana, while still in tiger form from the battle, smelled the presence of a sa- uh, of a, another tiger. Were you about to say saber? <clears throat> Fucking as hell! another tiger in the town. The group returned back after... Also, catching a little lamb and feeding it to the to little Nate, who has now fully stepped into his vampirism, <laughs> and abandoning little Robbie at the church to have uh, Father Lucian watch over him. Abandoned? Didn't abandon. That made me feel like a wrong. Dude. Yeah, that's, that's a so strong wrong. choice of uh, words. It's, it's, it, it, when I asked him about it, that's how he put it. It's fucked up. <laughs> Uh, upon returning to <laughs> Bro, Blue... he didn't even deny it. Uh, upon returning to the Blue Water Inn, they step inside and they find that Janine and Irina have been restrained to two chairs. It looks as if they have been put to sleep magically. Yeah. When the door closes, they saw Rictavio, the bard, who Jacob was harassing. Didn't harass him. With a crossbow trained on the group, <laughs> Rictavio takes off a ring. And reveals that he is actually Van Richter, the famous vampire hunter. And that is where we're going to pick up with today's game. <clears throat> um, Jacob. <laughs> Sometimes you just see a person and you hate their face. Uh, <laughs> you need to look. Gosh, you know what, chat? What does Van Richter sound like? Whoa! 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 Oh, shit. Wow. Damn! Was that Whoa, like an Come in. Holy shit. Uh, uh, well, thank you so much, Bard. Bard just gifted 21 subs <laughs> to the party. Thanks, Bard. Uh, all, 20, one of y'all, uh, all 21 of you, welcome to the party. Wait, one more time, y'all. Welcome, welcome to, to the, the party. party. It's a ah! oh. ah! Remember when we used to do the wave? Oh, I know. Oh my God. Wow. We still could. Wow. Oh, um, the wave was, was great. So cool. Please, we still uh, could. If you're in chat, drop that pizza. And just throw all of the pizzas at Bard. Dang, Bard. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Pizza, 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 pizza. Stop. Little pizza. Caesar. Little Caesar is just going to copyright our ass. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if, if the Go. first person actually come after us was Little Caesar? Cease. <laughs> in fact, cease. I, I kind of want to make a. I want to get a cease and desist from Little Caesars. Oh my god! Like, that's how you know you've made it. Yeah. Stop Let's saying pizza, pizza. pizza. <clears throat> Let's. Yeah, start wait. A little Pete, micro- the, <laughs> pizza, pizza. That's where I was. I was pizza. working yeah. in that <laughs> direction <laughs> mentally. <laughs> it's definitely a Caesar's desist. <laughs> so we befriend. Yeah, but we befriend them through stealing. That's amazing, stuff. Bard. You're and then them falling. You're a hero. That's like the equivalent <laughs> of stealing like someone's hat because you have a crush on them. Yeah. <laughs> or throwing a volleyball at their head. And then they're like, a... "That hat looks so good on you." And then they kiss you. I don't think that's <laughs> ever worked. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look so good in the hat that you took off my head. <laughs> Deb, how much inspiration is that? Uh, <clears throat> a million. Well, that depends if Bard wants to give it to y'all or you want to give it to Barovia. Okay. What do you think, Bard? Um, yeah, Bard, what do you think, you beautiful, beautiful yeah. person? <laughs> you Did we mention most... we love you? <laughs> Paladin, I wish I was rich. I could just sponsor you guys. Sorry, I'll work harder. Paladin, <laughs> don't even worry about it. We're happy you're here. You work hard enough. Um, so I think that I think that means that uh, we're going to end up uh, hitting our, uh, uh, our Warlock Tiles giveaway tonight. Wow. Uh, so wow. tonight's okay. big giveaway is some Warlock Tiles. That's exciting. They're That's very dope. cool. Um, Very cool. Okay. Super cool. Very cool. So. 
you all see that Van Richter has his crossbow trained on your group as he kicks the door closed. Um, oh, I forgot to ask. Chat, what does Van Richter sound like? Because I haven't really got a good voice from yet. <laughs> oh, Lord Procyon just gifted five subs. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> I love I'm the part too. I love it here. <laughs> oh, so we have like a thousand inspo, right? <laughs> so, so everything is a natural twenty. <laughs> twenty six. That's twenty six subs. That's oh my goodness. Wow! 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 <laughs> wow! <going>. Oh. <laughs> or Sam Kinison. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. Van that, Richter voice. That is a perfect Van Richter voice. <laughs> now, do the guy. What's his fuck? Um. Gallagher. Do um. Ellen. No, no, no. Ooh, okay. Roseanne. Um, <laughs> no, don't do it, Roseanne. Uh, Paladin <laughs> says Van Richter should be Irish. Um, All right. we could do that. Yeah. So, um, thank you again for, for everyone's generosity. This is amazing. Yeah, thanks. Um, so, Van Richter closes the door. He has his crossbow trained on. Him. He was like, "Hi, so I found out that you're all working. Uh, you have a good friend with a new straw that's in town." And, uh, I can't really tell. Are you friend or foe? So, what be it? Do I need to strike you down near here? Or do you got some splaining to do? I have a question, Devin. Is Van Richter hot? It's old. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> God damn it. Wow. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Bard it just dropped 5,000 bits. Uh, <laughs> so now we have 5,000 inspo. What? Um, 5,000, that, that equals uh, 500 divided by uh, uh, 5,000 is 10? No. What? Five. 500 divided by 5,000? Yes. Sorry. I can't do math on the spot. 5,000 divided by 500? Yes. 10. Yeah. Yeah, 50. Oh, God. So. Oh. No, it's not. <laughs> no. Thank God. 10. 10. <laughs> Wait. I'm, I feel like I'm losing my fucking But yeah, No, 50. Hey. It's, guys, it's 50. It's what 50 inspo. We have 50 inspo. Oh, we have 50 inspo. 10, 10. Okay, wait. So that's 10 from that. And then right, we had so, 30 subs. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. God, we're pretty. <laughs> so now we. How now. Many? So uh, that's for Bard to tell us if it's for Barovia or if it's for y'all, along with the <laughs> subs, Lord Procyon as well. Um, Damn it. Uh, uh, also, uh, if gifted, give anything. It's definitely not for the party. So wow, uh, we have uh, inspo for Barovia. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> All right, fine. Um, great. Wow. Totally great. All great right, job, everyone. <laughs> uh, Bard, you let me know. Uh, if you <laughs> if you want this to be um, for the for Barovia or for the party, if you want me to split it, I guess we're the um, Procyon too. So we also so now we now we've we've hit our our bit goal, we've hit our sub goal, we have a dragon giveaway, we have so much to give away tonight. We have a lot of giveaways. <laughs> Let's do one right now. Uh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll get. I don't know. I mean, okay, if you want to run the stream, go ahead. Wow. <laughs> Somebody still has to teach me, ma'am. Um. <laughs> All right, You're doing we're, a great job, Janine. Just go with it. <laughs> we'll give we'll give away the Rick and Morty set that Paladin has um, right now. We'll do that first. Thank you so much for that. Boom, Yanaril, Yanaril, congratulations! You've won the Woo! giveaway. Wow. Um, all right. So now, uh, the next giveaway will be uh, towards the break. Will be for the dragon. All right. So <clears throat> here we go. One more time. Um, so as Van Richter closes the door, this crossbow trained on all of you, he's like, <clears> Hi, <throat> then. So I heard that you're friends with a new straw in town, and I can't tell if you're friend or foe. You seem like you're doing the good. Uh, but at the same time, I'm uh, not too sure about you since you've been talking about how your friend is named Guilty. Uh, it's also the name of the new uh, straw. Oh, again, I'm confused that there's a second straw. But I'd like some answers. So what do you have to say for yourself? Um. Well, again, really quickly, Devin, is Richter high? <laughs> yes, but in a um, like a silver fox kind of way. He looks nice. like Six Roger Sterling stop. from uh, uh, Mad Men. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Uh well, uh, yes, there were two. Uh. Who you know as Strahd previously is now our ex companion guilty. What she's have you still kind of like mm, our companion? Well, she's not with us, <clears throat> but she's not with yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had a friend who's like kind of a dick, but like 
They like you have immediately start dating your ex after you just broke up with them. Like it's but, just a no no. Like real life, totally <sighs> friends, but then when you guys play games together, she's always kind of like the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, wait, there is someone. It's kind of like, like that. I like that. That does bring someone to mind. Do you have? And I kind of walk forward and I like unbutton the top few buttons of my shirt. <laughs> oh my say, god! She gave me this scar. Get it, girl? She's, she once was a friend, but. Now, no longer. <laughs> We're looking for truer friends. Are you? Are you? Someone who would be true to us? <laughs> I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I drew it. I wrapped like do on Keith's chest. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he seems unfazed by your your kind of like. Your your thirst come on. Wow, sorry. <laughs> next choice of words. Thank you, next. <laughs> um, he seems very driven to his goals of figuring out if you are in fact allies of Strahd or not. So no, we're not. Oh, you. Uh, hmm. Everyone's saying they they can't even hear Keith. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Talk louder, Keith. No, you could turn yourself up a bit, Keith. Hello, I am turning myself up. Is this better? It sounds it, it sounds good to me. Um, okay. <clears throat> but we'll see what uh, everyone else has to say. Um, <clears throat> Let me know. Uh, the studio peeps are louder than everyone else is quiet. Oh, still oh. quiet. Mm. Oh. Um, oh, interesting. Okay, I'm still turning it up. I'm slowly turning the dial. Uh, Let me know when I blow out your eardrums. <laughs> Sounds a bit better now, Vindica. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Janine, why don't you turn up three notches as well? <clears throat> Good job. And I'll just figure out how to edit it myself. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, Dev. What are you going to do? It'll be cool. Um, I'm getting... Uh, <clears throat> All right. Sing us a song, Keith, to test Paladin. Sing a song to try to seduce Van Vixner. <laughs> <laughs> Sing a song about how we so love hard to edit the very but first we're not on part of the- Oh no! <laughs> Honestly, Keith, I feel like you should just be like, let me introduce you to my daddy. And then, boom. <laughs> that's, that's definitely how you should come on to someone. Yeah, you should he totally talk to him. He is a monster us. hunter, so maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, never mind. You want to keep that uh, Eldritch Blast you got going on. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> so, Van Richter looks at this kind of come on that you've presented um keith and he seems unfa- <laughs> he doesn't even seem to notice it so we're not like friends with strad but we are friends with the person who is currently in strad's position but we also don't want her to hurt anybody so it's weird that- I mean, yeah. our friend has involuntarily been forced to take the position of straw. I wouldn't know. I don't know if force is Shh. the right word. <laughs> we right. <are> me. <laughs> right then. Okay. So you're saying to me <clears throat> that um, this is your friend, but you're not uh, too keen on their... Uh, their position that they have now. Correct. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty unhappy, yes. actually. We're we're hoping there is a way to undo this. Yeah, definitely. But if as we, we have to kill her, as we don't yet. So if you have to kill her, you're gonna you're gonna you're, you're gonna you're, you're gonna twist my arm about it. Should it, it come to that? Thing? Yes. Ooh, yeah. Are we? Yeah. I told you, Dad. We're going to kill guilty if we what have if, to. What if? What if that means that we leave and she doesn't? Well, she's dead. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't, I I'm don't not, know, guys. I'm not, I'm not super comfortable with killing guilty. Uh, but <laughs> thank, thank you, Nate. <laughs> I, I, I I will concede the fact that she's definitely not herself, and she's yeah. definitely causing some problems here. Right, definitely. then. So if I, if I go and kill your friend, <clears throat> not going to have any uh, issues between us then. We would really only like that to be a very last resort. Last resort. <clears throat> yeah, last resort. If you did it, like we would be like angry for like a day. But it's not like my whole life is ruined. Great, you're not gonna you're not gonna send my way then. No. Could you? We were actually gonna come <laughs> find you at your tower. You got a tower, right? In a lake. <laughs> All right. So as a dungeon master, I forgot to tell you something. Oh. <gasps> I retconned 
the fact that you heard that he had a tower on a lake. <gasps> you do know that there's what? a tower in the lake. What? You just don't know that's Van Richter's. Huh. No. Oh, I thought you told us. I, I yeah. did. That's why I meant retcon. Got it. That information should not have been shared by that NPC. They wouldn't have had it. Got it. Ooh. So, so we were thinking of taking a little vacation in this place down the road. Going to a tower. <laughs> or if you want to go on a trip, maybe we get to know each other. Uh, what, what you do know, you did see the tower when you were coming into town. Mm -hmm. It's visible from, from the road. Uh, it's on the lake. So you still know that somewhere you need to go. You just don't know that Vin Richter has any association with it. God. If that's the case, I don't know if we would tell him that then. Then I definitely wouldn't tell him that. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> like literally, <laughs> I come down into the, into the, you just, my head breaks through the wall and it's just my face is the entirety of the wall as I speak in like the roof and the ground are ripping away as I talk and tell you that <laughs> this is being retconned. And then Rewind. you see Rick, uh, Van Richter like, <clears throat> what, sorry, what did you say? Couldn't hear you. I said we were actually looking for you because we have some issues that we could use your help with. Oh, you mean like killing a friend? Yeah, no. I can help you with that. Saving? Saving a friend, maybe? Maybe saving a friend. Maybe there's a way that we could save them. Oh, you could save them by killing them. So, if, right. if they've taken on the, the, the strength of Strahd, I've, only evil lives in the heart now. But it, There's no other way? We've heard that there's rumor that it is possible. Oh, what rumor have you heard? Uh, was that it that it's possible? Amber, Amber, Amber Temple? Amber yeah, Temple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the Amber Temple. I, I don't know what this is, but I've been hunting vampires since I was a wee lad. That is amazing. But have you ever tried saving one? Yeah, could you imagine? If I had been saving one, I wouldn't I wouldn't have been doing it since I was a wee lad. Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't have made it this far. Right. So, so you <clears throat> have never heard of the Amber Temple, ever. I, what do you, what, I don't know what this Amber Temple is. It's supposed to be a place where maybe they can get rid of the vamp, vampiric curse on we've, people. We've heard it can maybe lift curses of vampirism and also potentially uh, lycanthropy. Yeah, werewolves. Which would be great. And also, could you imagine how much safer and better the world would be if you could heal them? That sounds too good to be true. It does sound too good to be true. It probably is. It's probably worth looking into, though. No. Yeah. Tell it's, you what, when are you planning on going after Strahd? <laughs> Slash guilty. Guilty Strahd. <laughs> I'll guilty. give you 10 dice. What? Okay. Oh, that's what pretty you, good. What are you going to do in the meantime? Wouldn't you like to know? Hey, but, that's why a bit, I a bit nosy, aren't you? You're welcome to it's join It's very us. interesting that you've changed your tone completely after... Uh, well, it's interesting our, that you would lie to me about your identity. That's a good point. He, right yeah. then. Okay, I think we're good. Our, <laughs> Listen, I'm going to give you 10 dice. And if... Where can we find you? You can find. I mean, my, I, I, I find a cure. I mean, I'm just next door. And he tap. He taps on the wall. Ah, okay. Oh, you're staying. You're staying here. Yeah, of course I am. Why? So if we need anything, if we have any questions, we just. Again, why? Why you use all the questions? Little, little rude, rude little person. Okay, actually, Ooh. people ask questions to learn more things. So it's really small minded of you to ask me why I'm asking questions. Yeah, you oh, literally. Well, it's the same, it's the same one. Questions. You ain't. You ain't casting spells on everyone I was talking to. Made them leave. Yeah, because I was trying to talk to you. And you you came at me with hostilities. Yeah, because I was jealous. Heard of it? It's a defense mechanism. <laughs> it seems like it wasn't a defense. It seems like you were on the offense. I have a frail ego, okay? I don't know what to say to you, man. And then I'm going to walk in between. At least being honest with yourself. It's hey? true, he does have a frail ego. <laughs> I'm going to lift my little I, hands up. Maybe just, look, maybe just look in the mirror every day and say... I'm enough. Well, maybe if I had parents who told me that they loved me more and gave me more hugs, we wouldn't have this issue. I find it in incredibly difficult to believe this as you have this incredible network here of people <clears throat> that you have to lash out to me. They're not giving you the support you need. Okay. I'm going to give you 11 days because it seems like you have a lot of problems yourselves. Oh, that's pretty uh, good. Uh, I make it and then I turn the camera days. and wink. <laughs> Solid two <TV. laughs> Also, speaking of uh, weird magic and casting spells, our friends uh, over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's yeah, the deal yeah. with them? Can we you just shake him awake. Okay, that's good to know. Did you break Sorry. into the room? <clears throat> oh yeah, of course. Well, I, why are you disguised as the other person? Also? I don't want. I don't. I don't want anyone to know. I don't want the Vistani to know I'm here. Why? We will happily not tell anyone. Can you, uh, maybe though, not break in and put our friends to sleep? Yeah, I mean that, that's a yeah. yeah. Well, I mean maybe. It depends. It depends. I mean, if you start going closer towards the, you know. <clears throat> Helping uh, this sure. guilty. Sure. Uh, then I'm, 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 I'm break in. Sure. Um, I thought you were agents of hers, but then I've I seen you doing things that counter to that. Sure. So 
you know, I really couldn't trust you yet. Do you, you know? Um, I don't really trust you yet, uh, but I believe you. If that makes any sense. Is that consolation? Um, not too hard pivot here. Uh, so you say you've been hunting vampires your whole life? My whole life. I. Do you I was a wee lad. D uh, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So that was just spitting height. Since what he was is, in short pants. What is spitting height? No, 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 no. No, no. Um, what <laughs> can you tell us about when a vampire has been uh, infected, if you will, with the vampiric curse? At what point have they fully transitioned? <clears throat> I, the, oh, yeah. Okay, then. The moment that they... <clears throat> Hold on. Oh yeah, the moment they uh, kill their first, uh, their first uh, kin is is when they uh, fully come into the vampire. King, kin, kin. Yeah. Ah, so if it's not yeah. human, technically no. Well, I'm not really quite sure about that. I mean, the law says if they kill a human or look a dwarf or an elf or anything sure, like that. Sure, yeah, sure. okay. Um, say they they fed on an animal. Oh, I don't know. It seems kind of a bit like a. Edge case. Like a... Yeah, it's a bit of an edge case. The edge case? Yeah. yeah. Seems like a pretty Okay, just case. curious. It's like... I ate a lamb! <laughs> no! Oh, kid, that... oh, kid raises yeah. the hand and says... <laughs> and he's like, do you have curries here? Yeah, yeah, that, was, yeah, yeah. that was some <laughs> good lamb, actually. We had some lamb shakes. Yeah, there. some yeah. roasted lamb. We're not from here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ben, ben, Richter, ben Richter kind of just does the... He does this. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we, uh, uh, so, so we got 11 days. If you want to make it 14 days, just like around two weeks, you know. Can we, can you? No, 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 don't go pissing your luck then, okay? I'm, All right? I'm not. <sighs> no, no, I give you 11 days because your friend here is fragile. <laughs> but we're all fragile. Shh, you. <laughs> we all have trauma, okay? What, what do you think about the Vistani? Are you like friends with them? Hmm. Well, I don't quite know about the story. Yeah, they all do work for the evil Strahd. So I know I'm New Zealand now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but here's the thing, Murray. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's that, that's the voice I do when I'm being uh uh my my disguise, my disguise voice. Sorry, I slip in between the two of them. It's, it's a werewolf. That's when I'm being Rictavio. You grew uh, up in both places. That's fine. But when I'm Rictavio, I speak like this, and when I'm Van Richter, I speak like this. Okay, uh, all right then. You're saying all Vistani are evil? <clears throat> or, I'm sorry, associated with Strahd? I mean, they all have they all have uh, <clears throat> an agreement with him, right? Well, yeah. Not anymore. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I, well, I know that, but I mean, I feel a few of them are going to try to get back mm -hmm. on his good side. So, why don't you kill Vistani too, if they're on the vampire sides? That's kind of why. I mean, hey, they're sentient people, you know? Um, if they stand in my way... So, oh, definitely take them out. So they get a pass. <clears throat> they don't get a pass. You know, you have to think like this. <clears throat> they are not actively keeping me from killing Strahd. Okay. They are aligned with him, mm. and uh, I don't trust them. But not all of them agree with the idea that they are aligned with Strahd. Some of them oh. are just living their lives. Okay. And I can't just go out just killing them just because right. they're, you know, that's, that's called murder. Okay. okay. You know? So I'm not a murderer. Okay, got it. <laughs> got it. So there's a new vampire that hasn't killed anybody. That we know of. That we know of. Mm -hmm. Has saved a couple lives, actually. In a way. Uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. Debatable. Oh, what are you, what are you speaking about? Just uh, abstract, you know, like to our all. to our knowledge, uh, guilt, guilty Strahd has not yet taken anyone's life, but I I, I do believe that the main goal of uh, theirs. Oh no, the, guilty has taken. I mean, this new Strahd is has definitely taken lives. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. there we go. <clears throat> at, least, at least ten from Barovia. Wow. How do you know this? <clears throat> we haven't heard of it. We've yeah, been trying to find numbers? out. I was I was uh <clears throat> when I am as. Rudolph, oh, not Rudolph, Rictavio. <laughs> I hear a lot of things, a lot of things. A bunch of people started coming from Borovia because she's just been treating her like a buffet. Hmm. Okay. That's good to know. That is good, That's to, good know. to know. And also, if it's any consolation, I don't think you have to worry about the Vistani anymore. This new guilty Strahd 
she broke the pact with the Vistani. Yeah. So they're trapped here now, which is a problem, but that's a chance for us if to anything, be aligned they with might them as well. Come to our the enemy of my enemy is my friend. <clears throat> you got it. But the same. friend of my enemy is... Wait. Excellent. <clears throat> Wonderful. Then, uh, <laughs> listen then. Like I said, 11 days. We'll, we'll see you then. All right. Give me a pot slap. Uh, no. It's oh, no. Oh, God. You better go now. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what? You should just leave now. I would fucking <laughs> don't, Keith. I stopped do Keith it, from I'm doing be... it. God damn it. Robbie jumps in front and uses his no. face to deflect. I put my wing there. <laughs> his beak. <laughs> <laughs> fucking wing him. So, we can agree that Guilty is now <laughs> public enemy slap. number two. She's full on, or she's full on uh, evil vampire, it sounds she's like. She's definitely number two. Yeah. Yes. Who's number Pat one? The one who's spreading Pat slap fever. We're yeah. number one. Pat. We're number one. Wait, no, sorry. I thought this was like a pooping out? joke. Number two. Oh. Yeah, number two. <laughs> We're not above it. Actually, yeah. Let's go with the poop joke. That's better. Oh, my God. I feel like that'll bum Guilty out more. What if Guilty hears that we're talking shit about her? Do you think that'll be more mad? <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. We should figure out... Uh. Wait. Uh, how, how much time did this take? What time is it now? Ish. Still like early afternoon? Yeah. If you look out the window, it looks like it's high noon. Do you do you know anything about the mayor and his? Uh, oh yeah, I know a bit about the mayor. He seems very concerned with his festivals. Yeah. Anything else he's concerned with, like things he likes? Well, he sure likes his festivals. <laughs> Just festivals. I mean, he has about a festival a week on average. A festival From our under... a week? I, yeah, well, that's, that's what crazy. I'm saying. The public doesn't he's seem to a... share that sentiment. I mean, th oh, well, like I said, here's the thing: if you had a festival every week, kind of lose the idea that a festival's fun. Yeah, you know, you can't, you can't have everyone like you can't have sweets every day. What was last Plus once week's it's festival? mandatory? You can't have sweets every day, actually. Robbie, he's not aligned I'm, with Strahd, is he? I'm just saying you can't. Oh no, he thinks the fe <laughs> he thinks the festivals keep Strahd away. Wait, what about the creepy guy who works for him? his right hand? Oh, I mean, it's Barovia. You got creepy guys everywhere. <laughs> you yeah. know? Yeah, but I'm not gonna normalize it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm not saying you should, but I mean, if you, have, if you, I mean, where you, where, whereabouts are you all from, from Forgotten Realms? San Francisco. Yeah, never heard of it. Yeah, it's, it's forgotten. <laughs> oh, from like like the city of Brass. No, environmentals. Sure. Mm -hmm. Where the city by the bay? The city oh, so Baldur's Gate. No. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I feel like you're you're withholding something. Well, guess who's being nosy now? Jacob. Fair enough. Eleven days. Thanks. <laughs> and he, he's, uh, he's like, I know pot slap for you. Work on yourself. Love yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. And remind you who you are. <laughs> this uh, man, Richard's like pretty fucking like a Renaissance man. <laughs> he's a fighter. He kills shit. He doesn't believe in fixing them, but he's like, yeah, you're good enough, smart enough, and gosh darn it, people love you. You know what? You're my enemy. But... <laughs> Yeah, you deserve to have better. You're really mean to me, but there's a problem. <laughs> Fuck you, you're beautiful. <laughs> I'm not gonna reward you with a pat slap, but I will. I will verbally let you know that I care about you. I'm not gonna touch. On you my way out the door, <laughs> after breaking oh. in and. Um, thank you, Moonjade, for those 23 months. It's uh, better you describing. It. Um, <clears throat> so oh, yeah, he leaves slap. the room. Uh, you're able to shake Irina and uh, uh, Janine awake. <laughs> Sir. Hey. Did you forget my name? Morning. Jesus. How you feeling? What I miss. <laughs> oh man. Nothing much. It's Not fine. much. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll catch you up. We're gonna go to a fancy dinner tonight. Uh, Janine, Janine tried to actually call me out just now about forgetting names, and I keep forgetting that you guys aren't playing characters. Yeah. <laughs> and so I like go to think like, what's their character? No, they're just their regular name. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Who are you again? Even though Janine and on. Robbie both created character names. Knowing that the concept of this campaign was that you were like, they have them. Well, I would still have made a character with a character name before we started the game. But we didn't know we were getting into this game. Except, what? Yeah, we did. No. Oh my god. No, if, we like, didn't. if we didn't, we got Jumanji so in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So you're saying the the head canon is that you would have made a character name. Right. Yeah. 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 I would have That's made a character happened. with a character so name before we get of, stuck um, into the ah! I don't know what the fuck we're talking about anymore. Yeah. Hey, guys, let's go to that tower. <laughs> I How do know. How many times does 500 go into 5,000? Let's I... go to the tower, <laughs> guys. Uh, okay. tower in the middle of the lake. Yeah. yeah. The, the fortune teller told us we need to do that. And we have some time to kill. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, that was Janine as Janine screaming, not Janine as Janine. <laughs> yeah, I know we're supposed to go to the town. No. <laughs> I totally understood that 100%. My cool, small brain. Cool. My head. Do you guys want to see if the wolf hunters want to go with us? I think they already left. Also, no, they were leaving in the they're going to leave with us they're leaving in the morning, tomorrow. But they wanted to leave earlier than but that. They seem we like talked them into of... waiting till. Why don't we just go? We'll probably they'll catch up. They're kind of dicks. Like I don't really feel like we owe yeah. them anything. They're kind of, they they seem like such edge lords. I'm not into yeah, that. I mean, they like, were pretty edgy. They it's just weird. Literally have to defend an entire town from a shit ton of cheerleading wolves. Yeah, you don't have to be okay, a dick but about we it. We don't need that kind of energy around us. All right, I'm just Probably. saying. No new friends. I'd be we're going to the tower. <laughs> Let's just go to the tower. <laughs> Um, so you guys, are, uh, I, I re, Irina says that she'd like to go with you, but she needs to find her brother, um, and, and catch up with him. And she wants to spend some time not with her life threatened. That's uh, fair. She's had a bunch of excitement, but she, she's like, <clears throat> I hope you could forgive me, but I'd like to stay in the town and, and just catch up with my brother since he's been, kid after him being kidnapped. No, it's fair. We, we get that a lot, actually. <laughs> Actually, I want to ask her, um, Arena. You mentioned that you had something to tell us uh, before in the morning. Um, what was that? I, um, it's a bit embarrassing. Uh I've been having dreams about Strahd, and they've changed. And they're now about mm. guilty. Mm. Oh. What kind of dreams? I, like, um, the, the kind that you them? don't tell, uh, in. The company of children. And she like points down at, at little Nate. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, I want to give her a pat slap. <laughs> Shut. What the fuck up, is a Keith. pat slap? Stop saying pat slap. Yeah, I swear Keith. to God. She takes she takes <laughs> quit. Whose side are you on? I will quit. She 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 reluctantly gives you the pat slap, but she feels are shame. Are talking about high fives? <clears throat> no. Why are you shame? Don't be ashamed of that. I, she, I mean she, she kid I don't know I don't know. It's just She's a, an evil force in the land of Barovia, and I just, I just shouldn't be having them dreams. Keep in mind, she could have, so like, like gotten into your head this way. That's part of a vampire's power. Yeah, that's part of a, that's a whole vampire thing. Yeah, so if I enjoyed it, I shouldn't feel guilty about it then. No. Oh, I'm not going to yuck your guilty. yums. Yeah. But you did. <laughs> but guilty. you felt guilty. <laughs> uh, and she's hey, blushing, like, I have to go. Um, <laughs> wait, it's wait a second. Who are you going with? We need a buddy system with you because it's No, kinda... she's going with her brother. It's fine. Where is he right now? Uh, as Robbie says that he remembers that uh, uh, Ismark was left at the church. Can we just can we just escort her to Ismark? I don't <laughs> think that I, it's... I, I'm going to say you treat this like the video game part where you're like in one of the safe zones. I mean... Unless like a cutscene forces it to not be a safe zone. All right. We'll just say it's on the way to the tower. Okay. Yeah, there it's you. on the way to the tower. <laughs> it's on the way. Okay, bye, Rena. Have fun with your brother. Oh, it's, we're going to do this. We're going to a random encounter. No, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> we'll fight some cheerleading wolves. We're going to do that anyways. <laughs> um, so, so uh, uh, the six of you with little Nate making seventh, uh, walk your way all over to um, the church. Escorting Irina, uh, she's like, I really, I really don't need all of this. Um, you don't have to. I, it's, I'm fine. And he's like, No, we are, we are escorting you. You drop her off, taking back the night, um, and taking then back the night or the daytime. Oh, it's still noon, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. yeah, it's like twelve thirty. Sorry, twelve twenty five. Um, uh, taking back the day. Um, and carpe diem. Yeah. Uh, or seizing the day. Seizing the day. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Another little Caesars uh, one coming, coming in hot. Caesaring and ready. Caesaring the day. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> We're doing free marketing Caesar. for them now. Yeah. <laughs> Caesaring the day. Um, Caesaring the day. <laughs> That's what Arena wants to do. Uh, uh, <laughs> wait, when we're at the church, I want to pick up Robbie. I feel bad. No, we right thought here, dude. specifically uh, don't want to have NPCs. Please use their formal names, Lil Robbie or Lil Nate. Lil Robbie, we're bringing a child anyway. It's a vampire kid, and we shouldn't vampire. even be bringing them. Technically, he's a vampire still. <laughs> I can't be responsible for someone else's abandonment issue. Issues, okay. That's but what I'm saying. Just know you did this, Dev, because you uh, used the word abandoned. We do know he's safe at the church, though. Uh, as, as you get there, Ismark comes out, greets Irina, um, 
and you see that little Nate is standing at quite a decent distance away from the church. Oh. Like he's afraid of it. Yeah. I'm going to stay there and hold his hand. Um, I don't want to go near it either. Okay, have if fun, kids. For the Enjoy church. We'll, <laughs> we'll see you later. Oh, wait, are you going to go get little Robbie? Yeah. No. Okay. Come on. No. You think it's going to be safer the, for them to come with us? The last time we had kids. Oh, what leaving happened? a little kid in a church? <laughs> No, I'm not on board with taking this child. Hey, He's no. been through enough change. <laughs> hmm? No more kids on vampire hunting expedition. I second no the more. motion. Except for the vampire child. I just That's think different. I say him. I. You know what? I. What's I. 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 Not taking him? Lampire. Yeah. Jacob, okay. stop trying to get kids killed. Jesus fucking. Stop trying to get him killed. <laughs> just leave him in the church. Yeah. <laughs> You and the goddamn night hag. Um, I read it and looks at you and he's like, wait, are you taking little Nate with you? We kind of aren't sure what else to do. Leave him with me. I, I, You shouldn't be taking that child out there. But I don't think you know... Who is saying this? That he is a V-A-M-I-P-I-E-R. And you feel you'll be able to handle that? I put my hand over his ears. Like, he can, he's actually... Are you going to be at the church? Yeah, he's... Um, uh, and little, little, little Nate is like uh, like kicking dirt clods, and you see at one point he just picks one up and puts it in his mouth and just chewing dirt. Iron deficient. <laughs> um, Do you really think it's a wise idea that you take him with you? Do you think you can handle? I think it's. I think I could handle him more than you taking him out where he could get hurt. Do you remember okay. the last time you handled him? Because that was earlier today. I don't know if you guys was remember. That no. What? Wait, what? She didn't. Are we that, talking to Ismark no, right now? Not, oh, this is Irina. What are you talking about, Robbie? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Did he fall as a child? Maybe. Yes. Absolutely. You, who has that? Makes sense. You can't take him into the church with you. <laughs> then I won't go into the church. I just solved that problem very simply. That if you think that's problem. my only obstacle, okay. I right. think you've grossly underestimated my ability. Well, thank you so much for babysitting. Yeah. No, I I love that. And here, um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give her uh, a couple. Should we uh, make one of those child leashes? I'm gonna give her some. So <laughs> no, that's like the backpack. That I'm they gonna wear. give her. No. I'm gonna absolutely, give her some. Absolutely. Yeah, we're not doing that. I'm gonna give her a handful, uh, five silver. Mm. Um, and uh, as I hand it to her, just go, hey, if he gets hungry, like you, you can take care of that, right? Get him a chicken. He likes. He, he likes. They lambs. do need to be alive. Lambs, lambs seem to help. I don't know when he'll need to feed again. I don't know. What Mammals like. probably best. I can take care of it. Yes. Okay. It, thank it you. Has to, but it has to be alive. Very good. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna turn to uh, little Nate and I'm gonna go, "Hey, buddy. Um, so we have to go run a couple errands. Guess what, though? Oh, errands. You get to hang out and play with Aunt Arena. For Yay! 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 Yeah. I, I don't know why, but I feel I need to protect her. You. Oh, do yeah. Go with that. Go with that. Do you, that. Uh -huh. You protect. So I, I reach down and I grab a stick that's like way too long. I snap it in half. I hand him half it and I go, okay, here you go. Put that right in your belt. You protect Aunt Irina. How about that? I, I whisper to Nate. This is like the sure stick you try to put in my mouth. <laughs> well, when that didn't happen, you dreamed that. <laughs> I whisper to Nate, are you sure you want to give the vampire child a steak? I go, oh shit. And then I reach over and I grab it and I go, hey, okay, buddy. Actually, you know what? Don't play with sticks. You're gonna lose an eye or You're something. Giving him a lot of conflicting information. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. I would like right to now. establish the fact that he had not woken up yet when we, well, when they were trying to fucking Boom. gag him with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't remember okay. that. But I turn to Keith and I go, hey, "That's give him good call, good, good call, yeah, good thinking. Take Uncle, this, Uncle Nate, Keith, little Nate, a Uncle. rope. <laughs> <laughs> Just give him an actual knife. Here's a here's some barbed wire. Go roll around on it. Um, <laughs> Here's yeah. Here's a bag of broken glass. Have a good time, kid. We're doing this for your safety. Yeah, and I take the stick and I go, okay, yeah, don't play with sticks. Uh, Aunt Rena, take care of it. Uh, we'll be back as soon as we can. Hang out, have a good time, and and we'll see you soon, buddy. Of course, yes. No, okay. no worries. I will keep an eye on the child. I appreciate that. Thick. There's no way this can go wrong, guys. <laughs> well, I, but mean, I got five on it. What else are you gonna do? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Anybody? Anybody want to? I'll be. I'll yeah. match you on that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. But if we're all betting on the same thing, then nobody wins. <laughs> Nobody's going to win no matter what. Yeah, I feel like there's just a lose-lose here. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're on our way. <laughs> so Good you, you head right. out of the town and head north 
to the tower. It's still so overcast. Um, it is just gross out here. True. Isn't it always? And you see the lake coming up and you see this small embankment that leads out to a small island on the lake where the tower is. And you hear... These fuckers again. Can you tell what direction it's coming from? It's coming from uh, closer to the town behind you now. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Oh, that's not a problem then. <laughs> they have wolf. I like that. You know what, Keith? You're right. <laughs> they have wolf hunters over there. It's fine. Yeah. Um, as you approach the tower, you see a wagon is parked in front of it. Hmm. There's no horses to it. It's got four lamps on every corner, or one lamp on every corner. Is four it a total. covered wagon, or what's that? What kind? A wagon? Mm, like a carriage wagon. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. In fact, it looks just like this one. Wow! Whoa! Hey? What a coincidence! <laughs> like looking at the. What are the odds? They look identical. This is actually the from the set that this is from. Perfect. <clears throat> it doesn't look like Strahd's Guilties. Does not look like Strahd's carriage. No. Cool. cool. Okay. And you see this tower. This tower looks like it's about to fall over. Like it looks like a strong wind could destroy it. Mm -hmm. It is aged. It has vines growing all up it. It looks dope. It sounds troublesome. Cool. Is there a front door or like how would someone enter it? As, as you get closer, you do see that there is some scaffolding to the left of it. And there is a front door. It looks like it's a two pieces of solid iron with a small seam between them. There's some kind of intricate design on something in the, the very front fr from a distance. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but there seems to be no handles as you get closer. Can I check the, the cart? The wagon? Mm, good call. Yeah, the wagon. Mm. See what's inside. Yeah, so you see the wagon has painted on the back of it keep out and two handles that would open up the back of it <clears throat> hmm. oh sounds well, like a suggestion we should obviously go in <laughs> um yeah, definitely ignoring that. can i actually before we do that cast uh fine traps yes oh, nice. <clears throat> as you cast fine traps tracing your, your middle finger down to your palm and then rotating your fingers and kind of blowing out in front of you you see that there is definitely wire that is tied to the inside of this. Um, you know, you're not sure what it's tied to, but if mm. this was to be opened, you would trigger a trap that is set on the inside. You can't see what would it, what it would trigger because it is on the inside of these uh, uh -huh. two doors. The wire is? Yeah. Is there, could I roll like a sleight of hand to disarm it? You can. I want you to tell me how you're going to do that with being unable to see the wire kind of like think of a door and on the other side of the door wire is tied to the handle so that when pulled open it's going to trigger something you're looking at the door unable to see the wire so like lana can you can it's just for color the way fine traps works is more like you you know there's a trap but you don't know how to do okay it. so she can't yeah. see like a wire behind okay. it or yeah like a glowing wire yeah it's more that she knows that there's a wire there got you okay yeah. is Makes there sense. is there any magic can can anybody detect magic on this cart? <clears throat> I mean, are you worried it's a magic trap? I'm worried that there's multiple traps and then we only checked for one. Well, time. it's it's basically uh, I sense the present of presence of any trap. Any trap within range. Physical so. or magical. Um, it does not specify, but if there's multiple ones, I would see them correct within 120 foot range yeah but i i read i read that as it only detects physical traps and yeah that's that's, we do that's normally how i treat detect traps because it's not detecting magic it's just detecting exactly. like, physical traps so it does not detect yeah. if there's a magical trap and i don't want to i don't want to hmm. have something maybe maybe okay. we get it. i will also cast detect magic Boom. um you see magic is emanating from the inside what? but it doesn't seem like it's tied to the trap that you had detected. Okay. Um, you also notice that there is an eerily, there's no magic 
coming from the tower. Okay. Uh, wait, so then where Oh, this this is the magic carriage. I'm sensing is from the carriage. Yeah. But you but you as you kind of glance over at the tower, mm-hmm. it's just like absent of magic. Which definitely kind of seems odd from the fact that right. it's a wizard's tower. Huh. That you know that there's something of importance here. Uh I relay this to all of you. Okay, I got an idea. How does the carriage open? Is it a double door or it's like a double door that opens mm-hmm. that way? Okay. Opens towards you. Okay. Everybody stand uh, kind of at the side of the wagon, and then I'll tie two ropes on the handles of the door. And when we stand at the side, I'll give one rope to Nate on one side and one rope to me on the other side, and then we'll pull them so whatever comes out doesn't hit anybody. You don't think it's just going to blow up the carriage? Can we go in the tower? Well, I guess we could also stand kind of far away and pull the ropes from just like 20 feet away. I have a 50-foot rope. You have a 50-foot rope, so... We could just open it from like 20, 30 feet away. Well, I guess my point is if it's just going to like blow it up or something, what's the point? If it just blows it up, then there is no point. But we also found out that it blew up. But I feel like it's probably more of like a triggered arrow trap or something like that, which are there, it'll just shoot and not hit anybody. Are there windows on the carriage? Deb? There are not. Uh-huh. I mean, can't we just climb up? to a higher part of the tower and get in that way instead of trying to get in through the door if that's right now a everyone's concern. right now everyone's talking about the carriot yeah we're just trying yeah. to mm-hmm. not the actual into the wagon itself. without getting anybody hurt so since i can't disarm the trap i feel like the best way would be to trigger the trap without hurting anybody and the best way to do that is use two ropes to pull the doors open from a distance we should move it away from the tower though how far is the wagon from the tower uh the wagon is 10 feet from the tower because based on what Dev said, mm. remember the tower looked super. Because what if we yeah. accidentally like collapsed? So if it? there is an explosion, Wait, that would. In so... that case, then like if we're talking about the wagon doors, why don't we open the tower and see what the rope is tied to, and then we can figure out what to do from there. Okay. Yeah, I also. But going back, I, I find it hard to believe that whoever owns this tower, who presumably also owns this carriage, would put a trap in there that would decimate both of them with one fell swoop mm. right yeah. like uh, unless they're well, yeah I don't know it, that's, it, it's, it would I, be pretty I feel like, fucking punk rock yeah. if they did that what kind, sorry what kind of magic did you see inside of the wagon uh what type of magic did I see inside of the wagon let me think about that <laughs> <laughs> hmm Think harder. Mm. Uh, you saw illusion. I think and it was illusion abjur- magic. Uh, uh, abjuration. And possibly abjuration magic. <laughs> okay. Well, why don't we? I try- think that's safe to say it's not a fireball, right? But the magic wasn't part of the trap. Exactly. What if it's a but genie? What? Christina Aguilar. Whatever. Let's just blow up the carriage. Who cares anymore? Why don't we go to the tower first and then blow up the carriage? Yeah. I'm okay. with Jacob. Let's All right, that, that let's, one. Let's do, let's do that. That's because awesome. then we can like walk away from the carriage as it explodes, like actions. <gasps> oh, I like that cool. even better. Sold, no, 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 sold. Maybe ruin anything <clears throat> that we have to do on the inside of the. Tower. You see the lake. A giant <laughs> form begins to rise out. The Loch Ness monster. Uh, <laughs> it, it all comes it, together. It looks. It looks. 30 feet in length as I kind of rise out of the water. Oh my wow. god. <laughs> wow. What are you guys doing? We don't know. Well, we wanted to open this wagon, but we don't want to blow up. You We're can't scared. tell us what's inside. If but... I if I tell you anything that you're not supposed to know, it'll change what the inside the book. You guys know how this goes. Yes. What if I can't give you any hints. Let's just tower. yeah, let's go inside the tower. Okay, also, guys, I don't know if you know this, but Zekrel just gifted Tobias Knight a sub. So, wow. Wow. Sub, nice. so thank That's you so much, nice. Zekrel. Yeah. And then I just float beneath the water again. Bye, Bye. Like a Devin Cthulhu just oh my sinking God. into the water. <laughs> Um, nice. I All knock right. on the tower door. You knock on it? Yeah, I knock on it. Hmm. It explodes. <laughs> <laughs> what a novel idea. Like, I'll knock on the fucking door. I got it. Amazing. It would, though. <laughs> it, it does. Very After all of that. Yeah. Confirmed. <laughs> so, what you see, I'm going to have to draw this in roll 20. Ooh. <laughs> We see nice. a concept. All right. I love some rule twenty drawing. 
See that symbol? No. Led by this symbol. What? And then led by this symbol. Uh, that oh, looks like a vampire. So does it? I don't know, but it could be the teeth that are underneath it. I see a duck. It looks quack. No more <clears throat> ducks, dude. Did you see the little bill coming off the side? Wait, and that's let me see eye, if I can't eyebrow. recreate this. <laughs> looks like lips. Quack. All right, like, let, me, let me send this to the back. This and then like. <laughs> that's what you see. This. I it, it made it easier to see now on the screen. Oh, Urban Mask, thank you for those 500 bits. Hey, like Urban this? Mask, let us know if that's going to be for the uh, for the party or for us. Uh, it's it's really good on the screen. Yeah, I'm just asking if this is also right. Oh, that is also right, yeah. Okay. Is it like runes? Can we trace them? Yeah, you, you want to trace them? Why not? Everyone stand back, then. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> first let's, let's, let's deal with what Robbie did. Robbie, please make a dexterity saving throw. Oh. For knocking? Great. Yeah. <laughs> you do get exploded. It's to check to see if you knock really fast. Uh, Urban Mask softly. gave you all that inspiration die. Wow. <clears throat> Ooh. Thank you. All right. Robbie, uh, punches Robbie. through the door. <laughs> but also, yeah, we're talking about physical traps, and you're like, I'm just going to go ahead and walk right up to the door and punch it open. Well, I mean. I didn't see any traps on this door, though. So. I just knocked. He, I want you guys to answer honestly in this guests? question. Okay. Oh, How knocked. many people are within 10 feet of Robbie? I feel like we would walk up with him. Okay. Right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Everyone that needs to also make a dexterity saving throw. <sighs> Didn't. Is this a trap? Sort of. It was within 120 feet of where Lana detected traps. Yeah. Interesting. Dang. So <gasps> if you got less than 15, you're going to take full damage. Oh. What if you did less? Is 24 good? Yes! Um, that just seems like not hospitable at all. It does seem real. It's like they don't want like, to go in. Now, what? how many people? How many people, how many people here are also wearing yeah. metal armor? Am I no. wearing leather armor? Okay. Are you shitting me, dude? Oh, <laughs> Celtic board just dropped fifteen hundred uh, and uh, bits, and the boost bear just dropped a thousand bits. Yeah. Uh, we're about to hit our second dragon. Dang! Thank um, you so much. Uh, so this is uh, another three inspiration uh, from Celtic Boar and two inspiration from the Booze Bear. Oh, thank you, Celtic Boar, and thank you, Booze Bear. Thank wow, you. So we have if, fifteen. If anybody, uh, sixteen. Sixteen. If anybody uh, failed their saves right there, oh, um, minus two from that. Uh, two of that is for me. Oh. We have fourteen. Okay. Yay! Did anybody fail their saves? Janine did. Janine. Uh, did Sierra twice. Echo. A thousand oh, just no. get the dragon. Sierra Echo just dropped in a thousand inspiration. Oh my god! <laughs> so Hype they, train income. Those two back. Um, okay, so do so we, much, Sierra Echo. Do you have sixteen? We're now at two dragons. Oh, this oh is goodness. madness. Uh, the booze bear, another five hundred. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? It's like um, so. Uh, uh, go ahead and minus three from yours. Um, uh, as the booze bear gives, uh, as the oh, booze bear gives me another one, and Sierra echoes were also for me. So, minus uh, four from whatever you have. So, f sixteen. Yeah, minus four. Oh god. From so we have twelve. Yeah. Okay. It's raining. Babies. And I have eleven. That's pretty good. Well, we have more. Yeah. Um, and Zek will just wow. give you 10. Holy oh, shit! Wow. Oh, oh my god! god. Whoa! Wow. This is crazy. Oh, All right. So y'all, 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 y'all get y'all get two inspirations from those ten subs. Did we? Or Procyon. <laughs> Five hundred bits. Whoa! <laughs> Bringing me a oh my god. Guilty, for guilty. guilty for team guilty. Which what? which <laughs> guilty? Nice. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> this is insane. Wow. I'm just gonna cry. Y'all y'all are fantastic. Train, hype, train, hype, train. Hype, train. hype, hype, hype. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> All of the hypes. Oh my god. I wish Holy we... shiz! I wish there was a dance move. Shit snap. Do a dance move, Jacob. Heaven. Like we're trained. Tell me the like... truth. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need a piece of party out of this now. But Bard 61 seamless hard at work. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> <Hey> -oh. <laughs> oh 
Holy shit, Zekral, another thousand. Oh my minutes. god! Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> the... ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, how oh. many subs have we gotten so far? Uh, we're at oh, 219. Shit. Wow. Uh, no, I mean, just this there. episode. Oh, th this episode? I'm not sure. I'd, I'd, have, to, I'd have to look at I want to say at least 20. Yeah, oh, yeah, at least at least 30. Wow. Damn. Wow. At least because Bart alone did 21. That's right. Uh, Fuck. So we're probably at 40 to 50 subs. <laughs> 60 subs, uh, according to... Um, Oh gosh, it's blue on on dark. Ja Chav, Chav Hunter. Hunter. Chav, Chav Hunter. Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Zekwell, another sub to Urban Mask. Wow. How, how many inspos do you have right now? Twelve. Twelve. Let's just put that at eighteen. Okay. I'm exhausted. What's funny? I love this kind of tired. <laughs> We're gonna burn through that. <laughs> We're we, probably gonna need them. We definitely need them. Uh, the tower falls three, over 30, onto 50, us. Five. We died here. Holy I'm shit! Describing. <laughs> Um, Y'all the best. This is amazing. You guys make me so happy. <laughs> so much. This is gonna go to good use because we're putting out uh, the comic book for campaign two. Yeah. Dude, guys, uh, it looks in, so good. Yeah, uh, uh, in like the next like couple months, and that, probably next month it'll be sent. Probably this month it'll be sent to the printer. Wow. I'm so excited. Yeah, uh, and this is exact. This is what we use up for that in giveaways. Um, <clears throat> it's true. It's a it's a it's a it's a prologue comic that leads up to. <laughs> To campaign two, wow. Um, <laughs> Bard six one. Do I get my wish? We'll have to talk about it. Mm. But you know, it's kind of hard to say no to that now. <laughs> well. um, uh, Blitz and chips. Thank you for gifting. Oh my gosh, Blitz and chips gifting Hold subs. On. <laughs> Hold There's on. more coming. It sounds like. Sounds like this one. <laughs> I'm too dumb for this. Oh my god. <laughs> Same. One at a time. And I helped. <laughs> Mommy Janine. Okay. Oh my goodness! The, so, great. so Damn! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Giving you guys another inspo. Uh, Celtic Four also wanted to make sure that their uh, their fifteen hundred was for me against the party. <laughs> so, uh, Lana, from your eighteen, please minus three. No, I had already marked that. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> they made it very clear, Chad. It wasn't for us. Hard six to one. Do you see what I started? Uh, always troll the party, booze bear. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. Um, <laughs> no, is there any episode left, or is the rest of the episode just giveaway? Uh, <laughs> Honestly, fuck it. I mean, we just got exploded. So. Yeah. I mean, we, done we, load up. Not, we knocked on a door and yeah. something bad happened. <laughs> so what does happen? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but Ooh. everyone passed oh except Janine. All right, here we go. Can I roll again? So can she? <laughs> um. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say everyone succeeds because of the the, the bit boon that wow. happened. Wow. Yeah. Thank God. The spirit of uh, chat. The, the bit and the subs and everything. So, um, <clears throat> Robbie, you go to knock on the door, right? Yep. As you do, a jolt of electricity radiates from the door. All of you take 11 points of damage oh. Ooh. as you're thrown backwards. And you're thrown backwards like the Power Rangers when they're struck. Ah! You kind of like flop onto the ground. Just as a nice. general status update, I have five HP. I'm at six. <laughs> Pop <Pop-pop>! clap! <laughs> Slap. Um, Ow. The moment ah! that Robbie touched the door, that jolt of electricity radiated from it. You got electrocuted? Yes. Ow. Fuck. Why? Why? <laughs> who would do that? Someone who doesn't want us to go in. Why are ah. we go? I thought we came here to talk to a guy. No. I mean, we didn't know who was here. Thank you, Vindika Sean, for those 1,500 bits. Wow. Oh my god! Uh, for me. Damn it. Oh. Now I have 15 inspiration. Devin, you roll well. Like you, don't, it's not like you need it. Inspiration. People who don't roll good. It's like the chat doesn't understand. <laughs> um, so that sucked. Okay. Didn't you say there was no magic? No, I detected two kinds. Remember? Illusion. In the wagon, but on the tower there was none, right? So, so is there just like wires? Months. Attached to the door? I don't it's know. It's, it's done, all right? What's done is done. Wait, but if... If it's... De can we go in now? I don't think we're... How okay. are we going to get Poke in? it with a stick. No. I'm going to do it. No more. Poke the door uh, with I'm a gonna stick. I'm going to go stand Poke not near stick. them. 
as you poke it with a stick, electricity radiates from the door, <laughs> and everyone takes another 11 points of damage. So me and Lana are down. I'm down. <laughs> down by trap. I, I definitely Wait, moved away the from one? them as soon as he started to touch You know, literally, this was all while arguing over what no. happened, and then as soon Jacob as just time, comes over and does it. He had to find a stick, and in that time, I moved away. <laughs> Oh, Wait, the, no, the boost bear, it. another 1500 bits. <laughs> TPK, TPK! Why? Why? Why not? Wait, Let's what's start funny? Season, me right now? season three Hold right on. now. I go piss on the door. Yeah, you know what? Fuck this game. <laughs> we all die by just getting electrocuted by the door. <laughs> <laughs> is this what you want? <laughs> Lil Nate is just confused. Why? <laughs> like, we never return. We never did. Pat doesn't what realize I if we all die, that's it. <laughs> well, not for a pack of smokes. <laughs> so, after being struck twice, uh, by electricity, Full everyone device. taking another eleven points of damage. What are you Wait. doing now? God. Well, man. Jacob and I are unconscious. <laughs> eleven, both times. Well, if I took damage, then I'm not healing them. That's fine. <laughs> That's, you know what? That's I just that. <laughs> so. What the fuck? That, that's my new it's rule. Funny because you I guys, there, Ravi. you guys figure it out. You guys I, figure it out. Healer, I think I'm going done. back to the town. Wait, I'll wait, see wait. you guys later. <laughs> How many people are down? Me. Me. Okay, so I'm gonna Robbie. I'm already gone. I, I, I'm like walking I'm back. Lana. I'm 50 feet I away. Pick up Lana so Robbie starts I'm to like, walk away from the group. Yep. I pick up Lana and I'm like, all right, it's fine. Let's go. Oh, Wait, so, you know, uh, I'm a Goliath, right? So is my arm, <laughs> arm like just dragging on the ground? As I, oh, well, I'm a, I'm a half work. I could probably. Oh, that, yeah, okay. Wait, so we're just <laughs> leaving? Oh, right. <laughs> um, Fireman we carried me. <laughs> you guys talking to Keith and Nate and, well, not Robbie because he's an asshole. Um, <laughs> but... So, Robbie, you're almost at the end of the causeway, which is like this kind of land bridge that connects to the tower. <sighs> okay. Uh, just I'll, so everyone knows where everyone is in this. I think I'm just gonna sit there and like wait from a distance for them to figure it out. <laughs> what a like, I'm gonna take my ball and go home fucking attitude. <laughs> just like sitting in distance away, like just feathers folded, mm -hmm. sitting on the ground, mm -hmm. just this a pouting beak. Mm -hmm. This is the most Robbie thing. Wow. <laughs> Not having fun here, guys. <laughs> yeah, this hey. place does suck. This place fucking okay. sucks. I thought we came here to talk to a guy and we get electrocuted from a door knock. What the shit? Two times, twice. twice. Okay, Janine, Janine, listen. That? But also, it's, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Might be. Um, <laughs> so what time is this dinner party, party supposed to be? Uh, tonight at 9 p.m. So we got plenty like of time. Right How long did it take us to get there? It's noon right now. It took you guys less than an hour to get out here. It's oh, okay. only three miles from so town. So it's like one, because it was one. noon when we finished talking to the bar. Mm -hmm. Listen, we should take these guys back and at least let them get a short rest, because obviously this isn't working out as planned the first time around. And everyone's running, well, not me, <laughs> running low on sleep. <laughs> I'll. Well, I mean, a short rest is only an hour. We could poke around till then, right? Yeah, you guys could just kind of set up outside the tower and take a short rest. You uh, he you hear with bubbles from the lake as I kind of like just mm -hmm. poke my face out, like just this part of my face, like just kind of as if I'm floating. Oh my God. I mean, someone would still have to heal Jacob and I for. If I swear, everyone if I, else just goes to sleep. If Wait, I, really quick, Devin, can you look like the lady in the lake? And then I kind of like float a little more, and then you hear the, as I squirt water out, you see a little fountain. Um, then you hear dice rolling from my side. Oh no. Okay. Just, mm. We're just up uh -oh. some shit. And I just kind of float back into the water. Uh oh, what? I, um. I'll You've get, done enough. I'm gonna get up. We're I'm gonna enough. walk back. I'll spare the dying on both of them. Thank you. Thanks. If I spare the dying, they still have to be healed, right? Correct. So they can't get a benefit from a short rest. They only get a benefit of a long rest with zero hit points. Mm. If you have zero hit points, a long rest brings you to one hit point. Okay. Well, I will oh. heal both of them, I guess. So if Rob, oh, Robbie okay. just kind of stomps back with his little bird feet. I'm still pissed. I'm pissed the whole time about it. <laughs> We're like getting comfortable outside the tower. Oh, hey, Rappy. You each get. This is uh, where we live now. You each get eight health. Cool. Thanks. How much? Sorry. Eight. Childish. Didn't you say you got a tiny hut? Yeah. You want to pop that out? 
Hold on, I have cure wounds. Oh. Oh, that's pretty good. Why don't we save our spells? Oh, uh, that's only for one of us. Why though. don't we save our spells and get a wounds. short rest in a safe place? Yes. Because okay. because if we just got electrocuted by a door and we got to make it all the way through this really tall tower, I have a feeling it's we're going to need more tall. spells. That's pretty. That's I'll sing us a song of rest too, so then we'll get it all get an extra d6 if we just take an Yay. hour long nap. Wow. Okay. okay. So can you can you do this tiny hut thing? Can you listen to my song first? Okay. Yeah. Do 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 do. <laughs> Wait, don't. No. That was. That was I'm not singing, by the way. You don't need a sing, you just need to listen. Sit down and listen to my song. So let me get this straight. You guys are taking a short rest yeah. here yeah. Uh, at the island, and Jacob is going to use his song of rest. And then I'm going to cast Tiny Hut. Are you going to cast Tiny Hut for the short rest? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Great. So we can rest in, in safety. In the hut. Okay. So you take a short rest. You are able to use up to uh, half of your hit die, or you can use as much of your hit die as you like. But once you use some of those hit die, you don't get them back until a long rest. So if you, I believe you're all fifth level, which means you have five hit die each. When you roll those hit die, you get, if you say use three, the next time there's a short rest, you can only use two hit dice. Does that make sense to everyone? Mm -hmm. The next okay. time yes. until we get a long rest. Until you get a long rest, which you recoup all of your hit dice. Cool. Um, but we I'm get rolling it. three hit dice. Okay. I think that's a good idea. I'm going to do that too. What do we wow. add to that, um, Jacob, with your song? It is a one Another six. six. Mm. Nice. Ooh, nine plus. Nice. Nice. What? So, <clears throat> wait, plus three. Twenty-two D8. hit points back, which is right back up to full health. Oh, so, nice. uh, has everyone rolled their hit die? Not yet. Mm -mm. 19. What is my hit die again? You're a bard, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I believe you're a D8. Perfect. I... Not too bad. Not too bad. Thank you. So I'm going to roll 2D8. Oh, nice. Oh, and you only recoup oh, half good. of your total hit dice after a long rest. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So. Dude, cream. You've all rested in this tiny little hut. It's kind of like the inside of a I Dream of Genie bottle. Bel crushed velvet everywhere. Wow. Um, it all has uh, with uh, pink drapings. If it's one of the later episodes, it's been colorized. <laughs> um, and coming out of it, you all uh, get the benefits of a short rest. And so far, you've noticed that every time you've touched the door, uh, electricity radiates from it, <laughs> hurting you. In front of the door, you see these three symbols. What are you doing? Do I recognize the symbols? You do not. And Dev, just to clarify, this was part of that magic I had detected. No. Oh. You do not detect any magic coming from the tower. That's right. Huh. What if there's no, <clears throat> they made actual electricity. It's like here. a natural. They did something here. Science. Well, I if... would say as a caster, it felt like magical damage. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So they have lying magic. Also, if they had electricity, why wouldn't they have TVs and light bulbs and stuff? Maybe it's only at this tower, man. I don't know. <laughs> you think he's a got wizard? Like... They look. I kinda... The symbols look kind of directional. Like you're supposed to go this way, then this way. What if you arrange way. them to make something? They don't look like they move around. Oh. They look like they've been etched into this kind of plate that's against the door. So nobody's nobody's nobody knows what this means? Maybe Janine is on the right track with them being direction. What if they're like dance dance moves? <laughs> okay. Start let's start dancing then. In the air. Yeah, yeah let's do this. It's like blue. And some of that. Mm. Raise oh, your like you, you dab. Yeah. And then you elbow out and then you do and then you jump yeah and then you jump hmm. up with your hands up yeah okay i assume you're all looking at this from a distance right 
<clears throat> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm staying away from the door. <laughs> so what are you doing? We're well, gonna try this TikTok dance. Well, they're the one doing that. <laughs> In front of the door. What if we just trace Well, it? who then is gonna do this? I'm doing the TikTok dance. Wait, okay. what's your health at? I'm at 31. That's pretty good. Yeah. So, out of 33. you stand in front of the door. What do you do, Jacob? Gonna dab and then do this. Well, and then you're gonna have to actually do it. I am doing it. Stand up. No, no, no. You, you could do it. You could do it sitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so like, jump? hold on a sec. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. What is it? All right, Jacob. What is it? Oh my god. Oh fuck. Ah, oh, what does the thing look like? So it's like, mmm, mmm, mmm. And then hey. I keep doing it. So like Pokemon. Uh, and I'm you... like, ah, uh, to the door. <laughs> you look ridiculous. I look great. So do do it again. Uh, um, now that we're all focused on you, and I want you to do them in stages, and I'll tell you what happens as you attempt your dance. Okay. If this is right, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> if we have seven points of electric <laughs> damage. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, watch out for Jacob. The door is do a TikTok <laughs> dance. <laughs> Magic. Um, so the first symbol was like two lines. So it's like, mm. and you see those lines light up. Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then the <laughs> other lines were dance. like two on top of each other. So it's like that one dance. That's like, mm. you see those two lines light up. <laughs> And then the what? bottom lines were just like running parallel. So then you just kind of do it on them like, mmm. The last ones light up. Ah. What? I, I forgot. I was about to make fun of you for suggesting it was a dance. I was like, Barovia is the fucking tiny town from Footloose. Like, nobody is nobody allowed, allowed, not to, allowed dance. to dance here. And the Jacob rolls in. Just like for the Van point. So that is the point. Let's yeah. let's talk a little meta. This is an actual riddle, but it is not a TikTok dance. Um, I read it and I didn't really get the riddle, but I got the intention that you're supposed to do certain movements with your hands a TikTok in dance. front of it, which it was kind of like it almost seemed like it could be like a, a Vogue, like a hmm, hmm, oh. hmm. hmm. Um, that's more like you're doing sigils in the air that are being traced. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it was interpreted as a TikTok dance <laughs> is beautiful. This is what we're and here for. You can take an inspiration from that. <laughs> you see a giant you see a giant D4 rising out of the water wow. coming from my hands, just like landing right in your head. As it hits you, it just goes oh You just feel internally you have this. I wow. feel spent. I feel You can never doubt him again. <laughs> now everyone else has to do it so you no. can get in. We can definitely doubt The door it, begins yes. to you see that giant plate that's in front roll away and the doors oh, open. Amazing. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Um I have to thank Janine also. Because she What do we see inside? She blue sky that Honestly, idea. I think Devin's fantastic art for looking like a TikTok dance. <laughs> like a fucking windshield wiper, frankly, but you know. <laughs> it resonated with Jacob. That's all that matters. It really worked yes. out. I, I honestly was like, I don't know how the fuck anyone's going to get this. Yeah. Unbeatable rhythm. So Jacob. kudos to Jacob to figuring that out. Like, it's like oh, it's a dance. Like naturally. really fast, too. Like really, really quickly. Yeah. Um, it's like that, that I episode of Avatar. <laughs> yeah. I, well, first you're like, yeah, dabbing, and it was kind of like this, and I was like, that's not a dab. I'm, I'm gonna have to see <laughs> form. Then plane. Jacob, then, when I was like, show me what you're doing. Then Jacob gave me the actual. Day. I was like, all right, that works. <laughs> that works. <clears throat> wow. We're, I'm in. <laughs> you see two clay golems standing in front of you. Oh man. Uh, they are inside the tower. They are standing in front of a platform on the ground that has four sets of chains attached to it. Uh, those chains are draped in front of the clay golems. They do not make any movement towards you as you uh, walk into this empty first floor of this tower. Hey, hey guys, why, why are we doing this? What did we need from the tower? So yeah, this because was... the fortune teller said we needed to in order to destroy Guilty. Yeah. But yeah. what do we, we need from We have to talk in, to the wizard in the tower. So uh... maybe we should ask if anyone's home also. Yoo-hoo! Okay. Uh, point of order. No, there's no wizard you're supposed to talk to. Oh. Oh, that oh, was the card. The lake. The... My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so what do we need to do here? Yeah, it's, I don't think it was very s specific, but I imagine there's something here we will need. So there's or some... we will learn something. Okay. 
This is the exact quote of what he said, because I took down notes. I will find a wizard's tower on a lake. His servant will guide us. Where's his servant? I mean, these guys. So are the chains on the golems? They're not on the golems. They're uh, uh, draped in front of the golems are two uh, uh, sets of chains, one in front of each golem. And then there seem to be four sets of chains rising up into the ceiling Uh. uh, that are connected to a platform. Let's Can I look at where the chains are dra- uh, hanging in front of the golems? Yeah, they are coming from the ceiling. Okay. There's no, like, sim- there are no symbols or anything like that? There are that? not. Uh, the it, chains look like they go all the way up to the fourth floor. Maybe it's some kind of elevator, like a pulley system. So, yeah, I was thinking that too. So the tower, just, the tower just goes straight up. The chains, what are they linked to on the ground? Like, what's... Uh, the chains are uh, all attached to what looks like a platform that's in the center of the room. So there's oh. no staircase. There's no staircase. Yeah. So this must. All right. I'm just gonna. You guys, um, back me up, okay? I'm just gonna stand on this platform. Well, well, see what well, happens. Yeah, yeah. All right. You stand on the platform. Fortune yeah. favors the bold. Great elevator. You okay? Yeah. Both golems look at you. I follow him. At Keith. Bless. <laughs> oh. Bless. Hey, hey, Garbanzo beans. Yeah, I go too reluctantly. Um, and as they look at you, <laughs> their hands grab the chain and begin um, to pull you up. Ah, I run on. Nice. Everyone on. Everyone runs on? Yeah. 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 Um, as they begin to pull, it goes, and everyone kind of juts. <laughs> you jut again. Um, as they pull, it is sharp. It is wonky. Uh, they sometimes don't pull in the same, so the platform kind of tilts. Oof. I lay down. <laughs> Everyone roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, God. Mm. My gosh. Um, Janine, Oops. I'm going to give you bardic inspiration. Thanks. Just in case. I appreciate that. Yeah. How much do I get to add? Um, Uh-oh. A D8. I don't need it because I got a 19. Thank you. I'll take it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's a D8? Yeah. Did anyone get less than 12? Wait, hang on. I have to no. re-roll, actually. I accidentally rolled I got 14. I got 17. I got 17. <laughs> All right, so pe- some people are using their inspirations. You can burn them. Oh, tight. No. Not a 19. No one used inspiration. Okay. So. Except for the bardic one. Yeah. <clears throat> so no one got less than 12? Nope. Mm-mm. All right. So <clears throat> you hold on. You're oh, oh, about to slide off because it jerks so much and it's uneven at <laughs> uh, moments. This would be like a fun Mario puzzle. Woohoo! <clears throat> uh, this is making my abs hurt as I like try <laughs> to keep my balance. Oh my god. <laughs> And you get raised up to the second floor. Nice. It is abandoned, a simple wooden floor. It kind of stops there. Um, Okay. I want to look around the second floor. Uh, You get to step off the platform? Uh, Yes. What? Mm -hmm. Can we look from the platform? You can. Yeah, like I said, it's a simple abandoned wooden floor. Uh Okay. So... And, and the tower is just straight up. There's like no rooms. There's no Correct. doors. Is there anything to see? It's just a wooden floor. Yeah, dust and cobwebs fill this otherwise empty room. The wooden floor uh, of which looks uh, badly rotted uh, and partially collapsed. Maybe don't step off this platform, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if it's going to stop here, can we? there th- might be something on the Do you still have floor. that? I'm going to poke the wooden floor outside pretty hard. Okay. From <laughs> from Poking the platform. Method. Hey, you can't just poke it. No, like I'm gonna hit it. Okay. Just to see if the floor can handle. Yeah. So if you if you hit it pretty hard, you see the piece of wood you hit just break a break oh. apart. Hey, Robbie, you can step onto it because you can fly. No, I actually can't fly, Lana. Mm. Remember? I thought you got the curse removed. No, nope, you did. No, remember Lucian was like, just come back and I'll take care but of. But Robbie that. has it's another day. Curses. It's still the same day. We did so much today. I know. It was a yeah. busy. Lana's purpose. trying to baby bird Robbie. <laughs> baby bird? <laughs> just push off. The oh! Push you out of the nest. Wait. This, this floor doesn't look stable, and there's nothing it, There's nothing but cobwebs, so I think we just keep going up. Mm-hmm. And then well, I stomp well, on the Well, it stopped, though. How do we keep <laughs> it? Like, how, do yeah, we get how do we make it keep going? Is up? there, well, if I we look up, is like there a, two times. another like, space to, like. Okay, you stomp on the platform, nothing happens. Come on. So. The chains keep going up? No. It seems that they've stopped pulling. Oh. No, but I'm saying like if you want there are it. four chains. Yeah. Four large chains. Four large chains. How large are these chains? Like, what <laughs> is the... 
large chains. They're like they're, each link is how big? Maybe as big as a fist. Oh, okay. Big wants a so I could like fit my hand in one. Sure. Um. Do you think that's wise? <laughs> well, I'm just gonna start doing it, and then if the platform seems like it's gonna start moving up again, I'll wait for it to get close, and then jump onto it. Okay. Can we throw Nate? <laughs> I don't, how high up are we right now from the first you, floor? You're, you're, ten, floor. Well, you're, you're ten feet up. Do you guys know? <laughs> do you guys know how to speak clay golem? No. Should we try? You want to try and do the dance again? I think that was just for the door. But yeah. I also think that there's nothing else here at all. I want to carefully step onto the second floor. Okay. Actually, Keith, do you want me to do it since I'm a little smaller and lighter? I'm wow. just okay. drag. Okay, it's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> yes, you did. That's so the here's the part about a drag. Here's what I'll do though. Then, if that's okay, I am gonna step out. Um, can I can I put a like a rope around I was gonna ways. hand I was gonna hand a rope to to Keith I got yeah good job so you step out onto the wooden platform so I want to look out yeah and I want to look around to see if it so, and mind you this is only about uh 40 feet wide total the platform you're on is about 10 feet by 10 feet okay so there's not a lot uh here there's like <clears throat> there's no walls or anything so being on the platform you can see just as much as being off the platform and there's nothing on the walls. Nothing on the walls. Why don't we pull ourselves up? Is there light? Mm. Is there light in this? I'm also worried. Not really. I'm wondering if there's like, if there are, if there's an illusion here. There was looser, uh, a, a, what's the word? Illus illusionary. Illusionary? Maybe. Illusory? Yeah. Yep. Both oh, those you words. did the spell magic. Uh, please um, get out of chat, y'all. What if you, L Lana, can you detect magic again? Maybe there's like something on the outside of this tower that prevents you from detecting magic from the outside, but maybe now that we're in it, you could detect it. That is true. True. Why don't we first see if we can't just pull ourselves? Um. Okay. Don't try it if you guys want to try it. Pull ourselves with the chain? Yeah. Okay. Pull ourselves the platform up, you know what I mean? Pull yourselves up by your chain straps? Ah. <laughs> uh... I know how that goes. Mm. Um, Tell you what, bub. Okay, can we? Your buffest. Can yes, we, I feel like. Go ahead and roll a strength yeah. check. Well, I feel like we'd all have to do it together. Yeah. As a of, team. Well, four of us. As a as a team. So well, let's let's sing a sea shanty to coordinate. <laughs> so. <clears throat> yeah, you're on this second level, and the golems have stopped pulling you up. You're just on the second level. Nate has stepped out a little bit, walked around it. It seems very creaky. It does seem very dangerous to be on, but your your weight hasn't uh, given way to the first floor yet. I'm just a little guy. Um, can we see everything like very clearly, or would light help us see everything? Like I said, there's nothing else on this floor. There's nothing you could, that you're not seeing. Got it. Okay. Wasn't Lana gonna? So I, we were gonna pull. Yeah. But so then try all together. I guess we're gonna try and pull the chains down. Hold yeah. on, down. one second. Okay. Um, maybe we should just press a button. Is there a button? Is there a button? What, what, what button? What button? <laughs> button? I mean, if there was a button, <laughs> I would. It, yeah. <laughs> and I like look up and I wave at the golem. Uh, there's no golem hey. ahead of you uh, when you look up. You, oh, you see they're it. below yeah. us. Yeah, you can't see any goals hey. because you're on the platform. Can we break the wood around can so that we, we could see them? Can we go up? More up. <laughs> and you feel <laughs> it jerk <laughs> as you begin to go up higher. <laughs> we just had to ask them? Wow. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? Mm. <clears throat> Look at us being courteous. <sighs> um, well, you know, you can't knock, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> you uh, find yourselves being raised up to the third level. If we have to ask again, like... Um, <laughs> no, you can tell by the, the time and elements have all but destroyed this chamber, leaving a gash on the northwest wall, uh, slimy black mildew on the walls. The wooden floor is completely rotted and has begun to fall away in pieces. Gross. And the platform stops again at the third story. And there's nothing else. Just more. There's nothing else. Uh, you know, you're in the middle of this room, in the ceiling, with a rusty chain near each corner where... It pulls up the chains to that the golems have are on the corners of the room. 
More higher. It begins to kind of jerkily shake as it pulls you up to the fourth floor of the tower. Mm -hmm. Now, unlike the levels below, this room shows signs of a recent uh, habitation. Mm -hmm. And although the place reeks of mold and mildew, it's plenty of plenty of creature comforts including a cozy bed, a desk with a matching chair, bright tapestries, a large iron stove, and plenty of wood to feed it. Uh, light enters through arrow slits, as well as a dirt-caked window uh, with broken shutters. Other features of the room include a standing suit of armor and a wooden chest. And old wooden rafters bend under the weight of the tower roof, which has somehow remained intact. Mount on the rafters are the pulleys that hang with iron chains that support the tower's elevator platform. Thank you. (laughs) And then we get off the platform. Okay. As you get off the platform, it remains. Cool. Investigate the room. Okay. Let's see what's going on. The traps. Unlike the levels below, this room shows signs of recent habitation. Oh. I'm going to take one of the blankets. (laughs) You take one of the blankets? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to steal this blanket? I'm going to give it away. To. Okay. All right. They're chilly people in Barovia. Yeah. People are poor here and don't have. Things like that. Should we just keep going up then? <laughs> this no is the top up. floor. Oh. oh, oh. So right. There's a, a bed. There's a fireplace. There's a, a bunch of chests. Nope. There's an iron stove. Oh, an iron stove. Mm-hmm. Firewood. There's a chest. Let's open the chest. <laughs> open the chest? Maybe uh, check for traps. I feel like everything's mm. been bad here. Yes. Well, I would have seen that it's within 120 feet. Didn't see the one at the door though. That yeah. one was within 120. Feet. Remember, we feet. thought like and we got fucking the wall blasted. of this tower do something. Would well, like if to, I didn't see, would you like to cast detect traps? Now that we're Magic. inside the walls, Magic. okay. I feel- I'm just like, if I cast it before and I didn't see that trap, why would I see this one? Or why would I see it? You know what I mean? Yeah. If I it's the same kind mean. of trap, I still won't be able to see it, and it'll just waste my spell slot. Mm-hmm. But. Okie dokie, I cast uh, Detect Traps again. As you cast it, you feel your magic doesn't exist. It's Do I still amp. spend the spell slot? Yeah. Damn it. Sorry. You go to cast and just nothing is happening. Mm. But you feel the magic energy that you tried to produce get just snuffed out. This place mm. sucks. Is this whole suck. tower an anti-magic circle? Feels like. Must be. Mm. Well, The tower's a circle. Oh, wait, how did the golems stay alive if it's anti-magic? Maybe it's enchanted. Yeah, but It's supposed to be a powerful wizard, right, that lives here? Mm-hmm. Let's look under his bed. Yeah, let's take their stuff really quickly before they show back up. Yeah. <laughs> let's open the chest. Okay, you open the chest? Yeah. As you open the chest, a decapitated uh, half-elf head is inside of it. Oh. Hot. It has markings of the Vistani. Oh. oh no! Oh fuck! Uh, do we recognize it? No. The head? How old is the head? As you kind of try to see how old the head is, it looks like it's been preserved with oils. Ew. Dude, uh-huh. it, like it should be rotting. Oh. But someone has definitely preserved this head. And it's just loose in this chest. Yeah. And that's all that's in there. It's not a big chest. It's a head-sized chest. Ah. <laughs> oh. It's like I thought it was like well, it, it can't do a full 180 roll. Well, I mean, you know, when I say loose, I mean it's not like in a bag in the chest. No, no, no. no just yeah. the head. Yeah, it's just the head. This is the head chest. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Not a right. chest chest. Maybe we should take it. I was going to say, we should uh, probably take this. <laughs> you want to take this head? Yeah. And do yeah. With it. Give it back to the Vistani. Well. Uh. We need to. We should identify them. Yeah, that or so. When you say there's Vistani markings on it, like like it looks like a member of the Vistani. Yeah, I see. Yeah, we should probably take them back. Identify them. Uh, yeah. At least show it to Jacques, who likes us or one of us. I'll put it in like a bag <laughs> on tie it to my belt or something. Okay. We're gonna leave. Yeah, maybe don't just have it hanging from your belt. I you said just... I put it in a bag. Yeah. Oh, okay. Your belt. And they said in a bag. No, I don't like just like tie a head to my head. <laughs> Turn into a fucking. Just braids it to her belt. <laughs> just uses <laughs> the hair. Beautiful. It's a CVS bag. I wrap it up in the receipt. Blood for the blood god. <laughs> chat, chat, chat is asking: Is it half a head or half elf of a head? It is a half elf's head. It's a half elf, <laughs> half a head. So, half the bottom or Donny, like all... this half or like this half. <laughs> It's <laughs> diagonal. One is more just like disturbing. So are all of the Stani half elf? No. Got it. Stani is just a group, like a guild. Yeah. 
Yeah, but it, it's definitely no, it's, it's, it's like it's an like identity. Lineage. It's like uh, this is not a direct parallel, but as Jewish people, it's a people. It's not a. I feel like we so it's a race yeah. and yeah. ethnicity. Yeah. We keep we keep having it with Rob. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Um, but they're um, they're an ethnic. I want group. to kind of like look through the rest of this floor to see if we're missing anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see the a, a suit of armor uh, slouched against the wall. You see a desk with a matching uh, chair. You see a bed. Ooh, go through that desk. I'll look through the desk for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, and are these like pretty nice things? Or are they like kind of like oh whatever they're decrepit and they work? Yeah, how's that armor look? Like the armor and the, the, armor, the armor. The armor looks in pretty good shape. Someone should wear it, Lana. It's it's a uh, plate armor. Ooh. Uh, I one. Is that medium or, armor? Or maybe well, you're a druid, need, right? She's a fighter. Druid. Druids Everybody. refuse to wear plate or any kind of metal armor. Can Jan- I can't. Wear? No, you. They refuse. Jan- they refuse to. Oh. <laughs> can Janine wear full plate armor? You hate it. Ew. I mean, as yeah. A, as a. I was just kidding. I was thinking of one of my other characters. Yeah, I can wear it. <laughs> do, you have, <laughs> do you have proficiency? With, with heavy with plate armor. With heavy a, armor. Work? Work yeah. fighter. Yeah. yeah. Dude, wear it. Wear it. Get it's just it. Your... Yeah. I am what a little worried it? because I feel... Wear this cursed armor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heath. Heath. We know um, someone who can remove him. Maybe don't put it on just yet. Just take it. Um, you try... You... I actually... I have an idea. Hold on. So I hold that... I whip out that, that short sword mm-hmm. and hold it out towards the armor. Okay. You're holding your like, sword. what's up with this? Oh, the talking sword. Oh, yeah. The talking sword. <laughs> Yeah, forgot about that little. little Where's the meat? Where's the beef? I want to cut it. I want to cut beef. I want to cut pork. Um, why do you know you, why about have you? Armor? Why have you? Why have you kept me from cutting meats and butchering? I've been taking a nap. I've been sleeping. I have. I sleeping. require but to I be coated washing? in the blood of meat. Okay. Meat blood. Real, real quick. This is, of course, um, the uh, the shadowed blade that you uh, got from a Bastani traveler who is selling items out of the back of his cart. Mm-hmm. But uh, real quick, do you know anything about? I know this? nothing of this armor. I only know okay. that yeah, my blade. To... <laughs> 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 uh, I vote you just take it if I don't wear it yet. Yeah, I like. So you're just gonna grab this armor? My back. Yeah. Okay. Because if it is cursed, we can have uh, Lucian in- inspect it at least. Hmm. You know. That's true. It's just an idea. What did what does Keith find in the desk? Um. Well, first I think we need to finish dealing with this armor before we deal with the desk. <laughs> oh. Oh. So. Is it are there's you gonna... more. Um, um, so this armor is is laid out in such a way that. It, as if a person was in it. It's not loose. Mm. Oh. Um, kind of like, imagine a suit of armor that was uh, like standing straight in a hallway. Look at oh. it. Knocked over. Right. So it's like lying down? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So do you want to start, uh, you know, it looks like there's maybe like a, a soft dummy inside that lets it adhere to a form. Oh. So are you gonna start removing the armor from the dummy? Oh wait, maybe a don't. Is there? Can is, is it like a full face helmet? Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck. Can we lift that up? Is it the body of this? Yeah, that can, would make sense. Oh, can I'll we lift just it with my glaive? Yeah. Can yep. just open up the face mask of it? <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> see beautiful. stitched on uh, the dummy's head uh, the following letters: K A K H A Z A N. And it's stitched on like a like a dummy, H-A-N-N. like a like a practice it's dummy on. that you would you would spar with. Ew, this place is weird. We should take everything and give it to someone who isn't as weird. You should burn this um, place. Did, did you get those words down correctly? A K H A Z A N. Yeah. Kazan. It begins to come to life. Kazan it stands up and it just looks at you. Kaz off. Kazan? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Oh, oh cool. it's our friend. Are are you is your intention to cause us harm? <laughs> Sick. <laughs> it's a friend. Yay. Yay. How, how's it going, Kazan? You you feeling good? Is Kazan your name? 
sit, Kazan. No, it's okay. Oh, no. We won't tell you what to sit. do. Okay. Stand. It, um, but it continues like every time you speak, it immediately looks at you. Hmm. Oh, because you said the thing. Oh. Uh, can you understand me? Are you the master here? Is the master still here? Okay. Are you in any pain? Oh, I realize that this is going to be a podcast and nobody knows what these sounds are. <laughs> so when you ask, is this master here? He turns and looks around the room and he sees that there's no one else in the room that there's master. Oh no. And then he looks at you, Lada, and I guess kind of like shrugs his shoulders. Oh, I see. Um, when you ask, and then your second question is what? Are you in pain? It, it, you can't, you don't know what a animated suit of armor would say to, are you in pain? Well, but I'm confused by the question. I'm trying to decipher if someone's like trapped in this. Yeah. But okay. Uh, Ask about the head. Uh, do you know whose head this belongs to? <laughs> and it shakes its head no. Okay. <laughs> and he like, it doesn't have any eyes, but it kind of goes over and the, its helm looks down. <laughs> and then it just looks at you and just shakes its head no. <laughs> I whispered to Lana, you should make it uh, help us steal everything from this tower. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you, okay. Uh, I'm Lana. And it just salutes you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Keith, what'd you find in the desk? <laughs> um, just scared. <laughs> As Keith, as Keith is moving through the desk, it seems to be notes uh, about Van Richter. Uh. Um, where he's been, what he's been up to. Uh, reports that uh, he was looking for uh, an entrance into Barovia. Hmm. Are these written from his perspective? No. Um, I want to yell out, Seems like some groupy shit about Van Richter. Hmm. Oh, Is he's it... got a stalker? Oh. Anything useful? Anything about perhaps our new friend here? Nothing. Huh. Mm. Also, don't we need to find Van Richter? We already did. Mm. Oh, we yeah, did. he's the yeah. guy that yeah. he found us. The bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah, he found I, you. I want to take another blanket and throw all the letters into all the documents into that blanket cool. and kind of tie it up like a bindle. Mm. Mm. There, it's, uh, it's about this much paper. Oh. It's not a lot. Oh. It's just like a stack okay. of bills. Hold it like mail. Never mind. Yeah. So, um, you, but you have those. Just put it in my pocket. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all that was on the desk? That's all that was in the desk and on the desk. Can mm. I check under the mattress? Yeah. You check underneath the mattress. There's nothing of note there either. And mm. in the pillows. Robbie's just ripping I'm up. Like, going three. Like, yeah, Ro 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 Robbie is like an uh, overexcited FBI agent, just like yeah. ripping. He's like, where's the drugs? <laughs> Where'd you hide them? Like, ripping open scenes. Where's on the body? Uh... Yeah, that's exactly what I do. Okay. There's just there's like a, one illustration of a woman showing off her ankle <laughs> under the mattress. Ooh, Ooh. Scandalous. Robbie just pockets it. <laughs> oh, see. I want to open the stove. Okay. Um, there looks like there's uh, a bit of, of ash in there from burnt uh, paper. Hmm. Um, dun, nothing dun, dun. nothing that is, is substantial that you could grab and read. Pause um. hmm. hmm. on. It looks at you. Is there anything being hidden in this room? It looks at you kind of confused, like it kind of understands you. Are there objects in this room we cannot plainly see? Do you know where they are? It shakes its head yes again. Will you show me? And it walks over and it points at a piece of stone. Oh, perfect. I go up nice. to the Cut stone the and feel it. Feels like a piece of stone. Does Is there like, is it like a brick? Like yeah, it's a like brick. Can yeah. pull it out? <gasps> it doesn't have any seams. Hmm. Uh, like and that, like that, not that aren't filled with mortar. Right. 
It's not a uh, national treasure yeah, type. Right. <laughs> but don't water on it. It's a push. I push on the stone. Nothing happens. Fuck. What? I tap it. Does it feel hollow behind it? It doesn't. Ask Kazan how to I do it. I hand her my hand axe. Oh, yeah. All right. Kaz, or Kazan, <laughs> is there something behind this stone? And it shakes its head yes. <laughs> I used... And when it shakes its head yes, it's like Helm opens up a little bit. <laughs> oh. I love Aww. him. I love Kazan. It's oh, really Supergirl, 1321, thank you for the raid. Hey, oh. raid, raid, raid. But it's 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 shaking its head up and down, yes. I take Janine's hand axe that she handed me, and I just... <clears throat> and it, you just... It rips right off. If you ever hit metal against stone, you know it is not a kind sound. Yeah. Oh. Everyone's ears kind of ring. Oh. Yeah. Ah. You did. What about... Okay, so when you say stone, it's like one big stone wall. It's yeah, but it's like uh, bricks, but big cinder block bricks that make uh, up. Oh, but yeah. there's no seams. They're just what I what I mean is there's no seam. Is there's mortar that connects them? Like if you ever lay bricks, you know the gray, mm, mm, you know the cement. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. I, then I'll take one of my daggers and sort of like chip along <clears throat> the seam. And Kazan kind of just watches you curiously as you begin to do it. Um, <clears throat> about ten minutes pass by, and you've got a little <clears throat> bit of it away, but it Wait. seems like. Huh. It seems like you're doing, you're putting in more work for this task than you need to. What? Kazan. Kazan. Do you know how to get the object behind this stone? <laughs> it's how I'm flapping up and down as it shakes. Will you yes. show me? And it goes and shakes both of his fists and just <laughs> <laughs> into the wall and just rips out the block Perfect. and it drops on the ground. Um, behind that up. brick, you see a, uh, uh, what looks like a, 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 a tome of some sort, like this fancy journal. Oh. Ooh. Um. <clears throat> hmm. Thank Slap. you, Kazan. Good show. Yoink. Uh, new best buds. Yeah. Uh, I pick up the the journal. Okay. <clears throat> um. You feel cold as you pick it up. Uh oh. You know that there's no magic to this, but it feels like just an ancient piece of text written by someone of great evil. Oh. <clears throat> as you begin to feel compelled to open it you see it is titled i strad oh my god this seems to be oh my god uh belonging to uh Shranza von Zerovich. i'm not gonna open it quite yet maybe you should i mean you it. feel compelled to as you do and as oh. you open it you see that oh you just found strad's diary <laughs> <laughs> Read it out loud! Oh my god! Oh my god! Everyone grab a pillow everywhere. Around. Oh my god! Okay, Wait. we're gonna take a shot every time it says Irina. Oh my god! <laughs> is it Strahd's diary or is it Guilty's diary now? Holy shit! Uh. <laughs> okay. How? Uh, guys, do you think we should read this now or should we pocket it and go to the last page? Does it say anything about me? When was the most recent? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's, let's all make sure we're in like pajamas. <laughs> oh my god, we raid his closet. Well, I wonder why the pajamas. The blankets for become useful. Let's just get a yeah, little yeah, taste. Yeah. Let's just get like the last page. Come okay. On. Yeah. I, I do look for the most recent entry. Okay. <clears throat> and we're all watching. Kazan's like down, like laying on his stomach, legs bent, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like. <laughs> Chin on his knuckles, yeah. Just <laughs> on the a, last as entry. you begin to read, uh, it's we have like the the camera shows you, and then it has overlaid a um, fifty percent opacity image of the diary itself. Nice. I am the ancient. I am the land. My beginnings are lost in the darkness of the past. I was the warrior. I was good and just. I thundered across the land like a wrath of a just god, but. The way years and killing years swore down my soul, and the wind wears down stone into sand. All goodness slipped from my life. I found my youth and strength gone, and all I had left was my death. My army settled in the valley of Barovia and took power over the people in the name of just God, but with none of the gods' grace or justice. I called for my family, long unseated from the ancient thrones, and brought them here to settle in the castle of Ravenloft. They came with a younger brother of mine, Sergei. He was handsome and youthful. I hated him for both. Oh. Hmm. You flip the page. Was that the most recent entry? No, that's just not how this works. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, well, gotcha. No. I've been given like eight paragraphs. Oh. <laughs> do I, oh is the intention for me to read all of them? Eventually, you don't have to do it right now. Uh, 
I'm just worried if we linger here too long, something yeah. bad will happen. Yeah, and we have to open the caravan. Maybe ask Kazan if there's anything else hidden in this room before we leave. All right. Yeah. We should stop on each level too. See if you notice anything we don't. And was the journal the only thing in this like weird tomb thingy? Say that again? You so from my understanding the behind the stones was you said like a tomb? A tome. Oh, a to oh! A tome! A tomb! A tomb! A tomb! Oh, I thought, uh, it's freaking get with this freaking time, dude. It's not a whole tome. It's just a nook with a book. <laughs> Listen to my tome <laughs> when I talk about a tome. It's a book nook! Okay. Um, stone thr thrown. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll throw that in my bag. Uh, Kazan, can you come with us? And it takes a step forward to get like within your personal space. Okay. <laughs> Seems like, like yes. steps closer to you. Seems like that's okay. a yes. <laughs> like you feel like, can you come with us? He's like, uh, he just takes a step closer to you. Oh, I <laughs> Very guess. Literally. I guess. Uh, <laughs> Let's start. Do you want to go for a walk? Are you able to leave this tower? And it just kind of shrugs its shoulders. Oh, okay. Well, let's then go, let's go. Line. Yeah. Carry these blankets. We have a new friend. Oh my god! Uh, wow. And the firewood. And the firewood. Steal everything here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Take the stove. Mary needs a stove. <laughs> the desk and face. <laughs> <laughs> just take all the furniture. All right, so Lana, have you ever burgled a place? How much would this desk sell for? Do you think? <laughs> on a Craigslist. See, you, you, you grab the desk. We grab everything we can. Okay. It's attached because it's on fire. We're about to have so a real shady Craigslist post. Yeah. This oh, is... it's not. Okay. Wait. Well, before we leave, okay. can you ask? We grab the stove. Kazan, one more time. If there's anything else that might be hidden. Kazan, are you aware of anything else that? is in this tower that we cannot plainly see. And his head kind of goes all the way behind it. So he's turning 180 and then all the way back, turning 180 <laughs> again as he kind of shakes his head no. Understood. Perfect. <laughs> he's all right. Best. Now that we've literally taken everything. <laughs> we have everything. The people need this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that is all right. This away. <laughs> Let's uh Ooh, let's have Kazan open the wagon for us. Oh my god, I just made a new friend. We're not killing him. Yeah, Robbie, this Who's is what say he's gonna die. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Uh let's go <laughs> down like this. <laughs> let's go down. Let's... Exactly. <laughs> All right, so you gather the stove and the table and the uh the, the desk and the chair. Yeah. Kazan and you all stand on <clears throat> uh and you go to say down. Down, yes, please. please. Um, as it begins to move down, you hear it creak, and then coof, 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 oh, all no. of the weight of the stove, <laughs> the desk, has on, and six people. <laughs> this is what we get for being greedy. <laughs> and you fall four stories to the ground. That's pretty good. Um, so I'm, I, I, would, I would like to do something if that's okay, Dad. I'm gonna flap my wings as furiously as I can. Um, as, I a have feather fall? as a reaction, I will use slow I have fall. Hold up. Okay. Yeah, oh, same, okay. Never cool, mind. yeah, high five me. Uh, can we fall? grab onto you? <laughs> What's that? Can no, we grab onto you? No, choose up to five falling creatures. Oh, oh nice. Oh. And it makes so, the desk, so it's a creature. So Excellent. one person can pick us, and the other person... <laughs> so. That's good, because you're going to need it. Uh. So, since none of you take the falling damage, but as you land, as the platform collapses with the items that are on it and Kazan, <laughs> oh, um, who falls to the ground, the chains begin to kind of... <laughs> as they fly back up, as they hit the roof, oh. you hear a snap sound. Oh, oh shit. And... The rocks begin to shift. Run! Oh, no. This is why you're all because you're floating down, at, uh, not falling. So you guys are slowly falling, right? Because that's what Featherfall does. You let's you fall slowly. Yeah. Uh, is it? Uh, yeah. Does it? Like, uh, around until the the spell ends. Yeah. So you you're you're kind, you're kind of like floating down as the entire tower is beginning to collapse. Wait, like we're you burping, Willy Wonka burping to get yeah, down. I was gonna say, this feels it's like a Willy Wonka moment. Except shit is falling down at us. <laughs> but you said it's yeah, 60 feet race. per round, so if we were only so 40 feet down up, down. we're already down. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, but everything else is falling at regular falling speed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. Um, so, oh, hold boy. on. Let me look this up, because there was specific rules for this. I'm sure oh, it's fine. I'm sure this is fine. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Why? Specific they rules for people stealing all the furniture? 
<laughs> yeah, if you put too much weight on the platform <laughs> and it collapses the. Oh no. Yeah. I'm gonna blame this on Kaz. Man, they think it I was Kaz. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna blame Kaz. He should have told us. Oh wait. Okay. Uh, I don't know how much this would help, actually. What? Well, Wanna do it? What's your idea? I have mending, but. <laughs> I can fix <laughs> one of the chains. Here, I'll command the bricks to not hit us. <laughs> um, 24d10. Oh, fucking <clears throat> shit. Um, uh, is this it? Is what we would take if we, we die because we tried to loot a fucking do stove. <laughs> so please make a dexterity what saving throw. For? Who agreed upon this? Everyone. Yeah, everybody was we in on it. We just wanted to have fun, Janine. God. <laughs> I wanted Wait, to have fun by there? stealing a stove. What about this, Dev? Actually, well, no, sorry. Uh, 8 to 10 bludgeoning damage, damage from falling debris. Can I try this? Or is it too late? Is it, uh, are we going to take this regardless? <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to hear what what solutions you might have that do change the outcome of this. Okay. <laughs> this is an idea. Okay. As I hear the building start to crumble, I wanted to cast Entangle to, like, mm. bind up to, like, support the structure. So it probably wouldn't help all of it, but it would help I'm going to say it. from... Um, we're going to do. Well, so each creature inside the tower, when it collapses, takes uh, 24 D10. I'm going to say... Um, yeah. All right. Uh, while those within 20 feet of the tower... So even on the outside, people take damage as a... Okay, that's the... Okay, so I'm going to say... <clears throat> I'd like you to roll me. Um, what level spell is that? Uh, it's first level, but I can okay. cast it at or no, just first level. Okay, just first level. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say that if you want to cast it at higher levels, for every level you cast it, I will reduce the amount of damage that is done. But it will not um, prevent all the damage. Um, okay. What are you I, can, I can only cast up to level three. Okay, so you're going to use a third level spell slot with it. So, but you're saying that would l lower it by... It would lower the damage a little bit. Do you guys think that's worth it? It sounds cool to me. Mm -hmm. I, I like the I like. Do it. Could I, I like the idea of like a crumbling building being held up by yeah. vines because you see it yeah. so often. And it's like, all right. Now, and then we just leave it like that. <laughs> for this to work, you're also going to have to roll an, uh, a Arcana check. Reason being, because this tower does have anti-spell or anti-magic field around it, okay. but because it's collapsing... <laughs> I say that the magic might be being pulled away from it being as one piece. Okay. Devin, can I help uh, Lana here? Um, in the Arcana check, or would you like to yes. do something similar with one of your spells to per, to reduce the damage as well? No, with the Arcana check. Okay. Um, now, Lord Procyon says, Entangle specifically makes plants sprout from the ground and not other surfaces, but since there are tons of plants that are just like all around the walls as well as the, just the growth, I would just say, you know, making those stronger. Okay. Let's, uh... So sorry, Keith, did you say you were helping me? I, I yes, don't I? know how that... Uh, tell uh, me how you'd be helping Lana cast a spell. Okay. Or, uh, or... Since she's since she's specifically looking for gaps in this anti-magic aura, uh, I I also want to be looking for gaps and be like, oh, okay, here's, here's one you could explore. Here's a big enough line. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say to do that, I'm gonna need you to sacrifice something. I'm gonna need you to give something up, like a spell slot or or something that you know, using one of those things to f discover that. Keith, that I, a we also level. have a bunch of D20. Yeah, like so. I can just try and use some inspo. Okay. If necessary. That's fine. Uh -huh. Let's try this. Okay, first roll. Um, and uh, Adriferni says, I thought magic was not working, or was that just the one spell? Uh, Adriferni, what we decided was that because the tower is now collapsing, is that that magic is also collapsing. The anti-magic magic. Yeah. It was on magic. Um, magic. Mm. So with a 19, you are successful. You will reduce uh, the amount of damage. Why don't you roll 4d10, and you will reduce the total amount of damage by that much. Oh, nice. I'm on 24. 4d10. I mean, or 40. 40. 40. <laughs> yeah. 15. 15. Okay. Mark that down. You guys have reduced it by 15. Uh, is there anything you could do as a monk 
to help with uh, reducing the falling debris damage that's going to be done to everyone. So, yes, there Push is. Push those books I, out of the air. I, and the, <laughs> I, I know that this <laughs> is... This is a little bit uh, out of whack, but Dev, let me know if there's any way I could jump and try to like deflect a couple of them that are falling. Like use deflect, use a key point to deflect missiles, essentially, but in the form of like how many key points? Mm. How much does it usually usually cost? No, no. I'm, uh, you tell me how many key points you want to use, and I'll tell you how many oh. uh, how many pieces of debris you deflect. I'm gonna spend three key points. Okay. To try to jump. Go ahead and roll three d10. Okay. And I, and I, and I'm gonna resolve everyone's actions at the end here as we kind of calculate all the actions that you're you're doing. Um, uh, what about Janine? Janine, what actions do you want to do to help reduce some of this damage? Um, I reduce the falling damage by okay. using thunderball. So okay, so also, you don't want to do anything. That's pretty good. Um, I can. No, the only other thing that I would think about doing is also a spell, if you would allow me to cast. Yeah, it. yeah, that's that, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gonna let you do. The, I'm gonna let everyone do a thing if they want. Uh, never mind, because that won't work. Um, All right, Keith. What about you? And Janine, if you think of something, have... come back to me. Yeah, I do have Eldritch Blast, and I'm thinking I could use it the same way that Nate used his deflection yeah. okay. yes so I'll, I'll, you can get two eldritch blasts per turn um mm -hmm. i'm gonna need you to heighten it though with a spell slot since eldritch blast specifically says it only targets creatures okay so sure. by using a spell a... slot you're, you're you'll, you'll focus it on an object nice wait, wait 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 here's a crazy idea you guys since i'm already using a spell slot what if i throw a fireball up there <laughs> I feel like that could go uh, Wait, okay, multiple ways but and one is a way that we want. Ha. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I need to hear more of this play. <laughs> no, because if you're shooting into something that's already exploding, then it will push everything else away but yeah. farther also, from us. That's, you know what? Fuck it. It doesn't seem yeah. insane. Sure, yeah, why not? Um, Keith, why don't you roll damage for a fireball? Okay. Cool. Oh no! What are we <laughs> rolling for fireball for? For it's whom? Whatever. Who cares? No, I'm so okay. excited. I love this. Wow. Mm -hmm. Us just ah. out, <laughs> landing like down a tower. Uh, so floating. that is 19. Wow, 19. That's a lot of ones. All right. <laughs> that's um, good. So uh, you, on your 3d10, what did you get, Nate? Uh, 13. 13. And uh, Lana, you got a 15. Correct. All right. I'd like someone to keep track of, of that total so far. Yeah. Uh, Robert Eustacen. Uh Jacob <laughs> and I were holding the desk when we started to fall, and we got under it. Oh, yeah. And then, like, we each held yeah, a we leg. we were both, like, holding the sides, and then we just, like, California under way. it. <laughs> Great. So okay. So you're falling. hoping this desk will help protect you from four stories of debris falling on top of it. Well, it's definitely going to yeah. take some of the impact. Okay. So whatever you, I'm gonna I'm gonna say you guys get one d10 from just you since only you were under the desk, because you're not doing anything to help anyone else. Like well, everyone else is no, doing something to help the group. I mean, if we can pull them under, it's not, <laughs> someone get under the stove. <laughs> Magically expanding deck. <laughs> oh, it was a stove. Yeah. So go ahead and roll a, a d10 for the damage that, that uh, is deflected for the two of you. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bit. It's not a bit. Yeah, it's not Everyone bad. just punch the rocks before they hit you. That's what I did basically with deflect <laughs> missiles. I just jumped and started punching. Uh, Jacob, I'm assuming that you're just you're, you're just going underneath the desk. Nothing else uh, you're gonna roll? do. Um, did you roll? As a monk would. <laughs> yeah, what else am I supposed to do? Yeah, not punch yeah. stuff. Fine. It's crazy. All right. How much? So, um, fifteen plus thirteen plus nineteen. What, what what are we totaled at right now? Fifteen plus thirteen. Oh. Forty-seven. Nice. All right. So it's nothing to scoff at. <laughs> reducing forty-seven points of damage. It's out of healing us. Out um, of. <laughs> I it, hate this. It was ten d ten. I think it's hilarious, frankly. Forty d ten. Forty d ten. I don't know. I can't. Remember. No, I can't remember what it was. Twenty-four d ten. Twenty-four d ten. Got it. A lot of d ten. So, right. So twenty-four d ten. Ah, oh, god damn it. 10. Great start. Yeah, it's a bad start. Max 240. Out of 5,309. 
So you guys did Come on. really good. Big money. I mean, small money, small money, <laughs> multiple whammies. Uh, we I know this is such. Waiting for it to calculate is such a. Uh, 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 if we TPK, Wait, 122 TPK? points of damage. Oh. Okay. Okay. Minus that... 47. Okay, but is that dispersed? Now, everyone gets to make their uh, dexterity saving throws. Okay. Okay. To see if you take the full 122. I'm going to throw up. Or you this take half of it. Dangerous game. Okay, wait, hold on. Wait. Two minus 47. No. Does what difference anybody, does it make? Because we don't. Nobody has 60 health points. Yeah. Well, no, no. So 75. 75 is the big. Uh, everyone, I'm not asking you to do math. I would like you all to roll that dexterity <laughs> saving throw. Uh, okay. Just look cute and roll your <laughs> Don't Don't save. try to jump ahead. As I am the dungeon master, I will let you know what the outcome is. Ooh. What do we have to beat? Wait. I will not like tell you. Use... Got D20. It. Yeah, go for Inspiration. it. Inspiration. Oh, fuck. Me too. Uh, okay. Okay, I think I'm good. Cool. Oh, 19. great. I'm good. I got it right. Uh, so how, how many inspirations many have you all used? Yeah. Because you got a lot. We got to keep track of them. I'm using one. All right. Keith used one as well, right? I used one, yes. I'm good. I'm also using one. Damn it. So okay, that's so three. Lana. <laughs> Lana. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh, my God. Wait, or, how many times? Wait, what are you can doing? Roll inspiration? You can't. You can't. Wait, can you? You, you can't just do that. Only roll once. What? You can't just keep re-rolling. Oh. You can only. Yeah, use you, one. you only get to use inspiration once. Well, yeah. then I failed. <laughs> <laughs> Should have gotten under the desk. <laughs> like us genius. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What a beast. So. So you use uh, three. Lonnie, use inspiration. Uh, Robbie, did you use inspiration? Uh, no. Would you roll? I rolled an eight. And you didn't use inspiration. Plus six. Do you want to use an inspiration? Maybe. I think you should. But I'll need an answer. Yeah, okay. All right, so Robbie used inspiration. Oh. Okay, so 20. All right, nice. Robbie got a 20. Nate, what did you get? Uh, a 25. Excellent. Um, Jacob, what did you get? 25. Excellent. Keith, what did you get? 19. And Janine? 12. Do you want to use inspiration? I did. Okay. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so, I got a seven. <laughs> it's pretty oh, good. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, fine. maybe the suit of armor will sacrifice itself. Kazan, help. We just met. That's like. I'm hugging Kazan. Hey, I just met you. And the <laughs> hey, is But save my I'm life, please. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ask Kazan to save you? Yeah, I'm hu I'm hugging Kazan. I imagine ah! as you're as we're falling. Yeah, and I'm just like, at least I got to meet you before I die. At least I got to meet a suit of armor with the name Kazan stitched into its face. We've been through so much together, and then I see a montage of the last like 15 minutes of him just shaking his head and shrugging, <laughs> and then punching a wall. <laughs> Lana, um, you take 42 points of damage. I'm. Down. Um, let's see. Uh, so, how this plays out, you're all falling, but you're slowly falling, and you realize that the tower is collapsing, and you're kind of stuck in this. Oh, no. Lana throws up her hands and begins to creep pass through the kind of wards here, keeping spells from being cast, and you see plant growth begin to kind of stop the this entangle spell begin to stop some of the debris. You then see a bunch that are starting to fall, and you just see Nate punching through stone rocks. His fists are bloodied as he's just decimating them like an avatar uh, bender, uh, an earth bender. Yeah, yeah. I'm awesome. Um, just, we then see Robert, Robbie and Jacob get underneath the desk. Oh, black. We see Keith back. Uh, firing and, off uh, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. firing off these eldritch blasts. Just destroying uh, it was a fireball. It was oh, a fireball. oh, the fireball! Yes, just release the fireball that just erupts from the tower, blasting uh, debris. Do you think anyone <laughs> will know we're here? <laughs> <laughs> um, Janine, did you come up with anything? It's really foggy, um, so they can't see that part. <laughs> I... No, <laughs> Janine, get under totally the desk did. too. Asked... Um. <laughs> I totally did. I cast scrolls through spells a third time. <laughs> I cast not die. 
<laughs> All right. I cast shield, but it's not magic missile, so it does not going to do anything. Just adds to your armor. I'll let you take off a D10 personally for yourself with shield. A piece right, of rock I'm just goes that. through the All right. shield. D10. Right or So, um, what did the two of you roll for your D10? Uh, seven. Seven. Ten. All right. So, um, and you both passed your your saves, right? Yeah. All right. So that means you guys take sixty-eight. You take uh, um, half of sixty-eight. Thirty-four. Thirty-four points of damage. Great. Oh, nice. I'm down, but like, yeah, it, I'm also down. Not as bad as it could have been. Not, it's not perma dead. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> next, uh, Janine, how much did you uh, reduce? Seven. Seven, and you failed your save, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dead, oh, Janine. No. What is it? What is your hit point total? Irrelevant. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Rip. Janine, you take forty-eight points of damage. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's a, that's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty good considering we all took a nap. <laughs> it's all relative. <laughs> um, you succeeded your save, right? I did. Uh, I think I think pretty well with twenty-five. Um. This is twenty-five save. You take thirty-seven <laughs> points of damage. Um down. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was just learning to love. So we're just gonna be found here. Um, yeah. Lana, uh, as uh, as everyone is falling, uh, the armor does wrap around you. <gasps> and as you all hit the ground, you see it kind of like looking at you. You, don't, you can't tell that it has uh, life in it because it's no eyes, but you swear that it's looking at you like, I'll protect you as it holds on and oh. rock, rock, and you see it lose whatever force. Oh, no! God. As rocks just begin to pelt it and take the life away from Kazan. Oh, God damn it. Hey, wait, Everything we touch goes I to hell. I a friend real quick. Forever. I would like to use my relentless endurance to drop to one HP instead. <laughs> Dude, nice. <laughs> sweet move. That was sweet. Wait, so do I not take any damage then? Oh, you do. Oh. I, uh, the damage I told you is after I <laughs> removed Kazan's hit points from that damage. Oh, my God. How much should I take? Um, you ended up taking... Oh, sorry, I thought I told you already. 75. No. Man. 42 points of damage. Oh. Can't believe you did cause on like that. Well, I actually can. I, I, I'm I can. dead and you're <laughs> blamed and you're already... What? You can't hear any of this hey, because hey, I'm hey, unconscious hey, hey. still. Both of you? You're both unconscious? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you really go finally get some fucking yeah, peace mad. and quiet around this table. <laughs> Keith? You're all dead. Uh, not dead, you're all unconscious. <laughs> Is Keith down? Um, Keith. I'm probably down. Um, you saved, you, you made your save, right? I did, yeah. All Thank right. <laughs> Gas um, mending on Kaza. <laughs> 37 points of damage. Okay, yeah, I'm down as well. Oh, fuck. Janine, good job. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> damn. Oh we were... We are... <laughs> Just a fighter learn, with one health point walking around a bunch of debris. Eel. <laughs> Quick. Well, Janine, thank God we have a desk. <laughs> um, you see in the distance as the dust begins to settle. <laughs> um... <laughs> Someone on horseback riding along the edge of the lake. Uh, it looks like they are definitely observing whatever is happening with the tower. Yeah, the death of a beautiful soul. <laughs> they are a <laughs> fucking goddamn piece of shit stove. They are like a, I don't think a cloaked a figure. You cannot see them uh, or or who they are, but they are riding on a black mare, mm. a very similar black mare from what you saw pulling. Guilty's carriage, oh, aka oh, a Strahd. <clears throat> Shit. Hell. Um, what are you doing, uh, Janine, as you are the only one up? Shit, 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 shit. Hide behind the stove. <laughs> Hide under the stove. Hide in the stove. <laughs> Play possum. Sorry. To use my second win. Okay. So, 1d10 plus 5. I'm going to heal real quick for Oof. 11 points. Oh my nice. gosh. So I'm at 12. Um, and then knowing that like some of us have received healing potions and thinking that it is Jacob that might have a potion of healing on him, 
I check Jacob's pockets. Don't you don't wake me up. You just check if I have it first. Well, she can't wake you up. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you're unconscious. <laughs> you're dying. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> not asleep. Do you have a healing potion in your pockets? I have something. I mean, you should probably <laughs> heal the healer. No. I have. Yeah, a- but. Well, He's yeah, the one but with if he arm. has the healing potion, I still have to take it from him to give it to Robbie. Oh. You know what? That's fair. I don't have it. <laughs> okay, I gave it to Ismark, but so, his throat got ripped out. Oh, that's right. Boyfriend? Not really? my boyfriend. That's what she yells at your dad for. So, but I will say, up, you do sense. find a potion of remove curse and sleep on me. <laughs> um, all right, Janine, <laughs> that was your that was your action. Uh, I would now, time. Lana, I need a death save from you, and then Robbie, and then Nate, and then Jacob, and then Keith. Wait, <laughs> why are we getting a death save? Uh, because um, you're dying. <laughs> Benin doesn't have any but besides we're, cells. We're actively being injured still. We're actually You had a tower injured. collapse on you when you're at zero <laughs> oh and you God, haven't so you haven't had some spare the dying. Is that oh. bad? You just continue to die. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> a tower fell on us. And it's that just a bad? straight D twenty. It's just a straight D twenty, yeah. Yeah, ten or higher. God damn it. I don't count ones as doubles. Well, <laughs> I got a three. Rough. Uh, I got a seven. So hold on. Uh, not everyone at once. Oh, yeah. Um, Keith, what'd you get? I got a 19. All right, that's one success. Jacob, what'd you get? I got a seven. Yeah, that's one fail. Yeah. Nate, what'd you get? 12. That's one success. Robbie, what'd you get? 18. That's one success. And Lana, what'd you get? Three. That's one fail. <laughs> Janine, it's your turn again. What would you like to do? <laughs> and uh, like we say, I don't allow you guys to use inspiration on death saves to make them. Damn right. it, the point of Kazan's gone. <laughs> Janine, what are you doing? Point. You just have a head on your belt. <laughs> I forgot. Janine? Oh, I'm can't. sorry. My cat was climbing in a box, so I muted <laughs> myself. Um, you just see all of your friends just dying in front of you, bleeding out. My broken God. bones, yeah. twisted legs. Oops. So I'm freaking out, obviously. And then I'm going to use a medicine check to, sta- to attempt to stabilize Robbie. Okay. Now, if you stabilize Robbie, he doesn't get to roll to see if he gets up. Um, if Robbie gets a 20, he gets up with one hit point. If you oh, stabilize him, I he just it... stays at zero. He doesn't make any saves. Okay. Um, <clears throat> stabilize Jacob or... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stabilize Jacob. All right. Go ahead and roll me a medicine check. Because he is a bard. Oh, I lied. I'm going to stabilize Lana. Wait, no, I lied. <laughs> I'm going to stabilize Jacob. Who are you? St- what? Who? Jacob. You're emotionally toying with us, even in death. Oh, my God. You do not stabilize them. <laughs> you oh, wait, rip out you my you appendix. You bleed out as you put oh, your my... hands straight to stop the bleeding. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm like, actually, fuck. Can right. you use Lana, please roll me a death save. Inspo on a medicine check? Inspo? Oh, yeah, you can use an inspo on, on, on do uh, it. check, Janine. Got you. Nah. Sure, why not? <laughs> save them. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Oh, shit. Is he up? Does that mean he's up? Um, yeah, with a crit, I have to kind of reward that, right? <gasps> yeah, yeah, you do. Dude, um, technically. So now I now I fucking wish that. <laughs> Janine oh, is just uh, Janine is just like uh, you know, doing CPR, trying to stop the bleeding. Um, it's just like at this point, just shaking Jacob, slapping him, <laughs> uh, like wake up, <laughs> and then like. A, a tussle of blood gets spit out at you uh, over your face as Jacob <laughs> Jacob you oh have one hit God. point until the end of your turn okay where you then fall sure. unconscious but stable oh okay nice so like you get an action before like you're out unless yeah. you do something to prevent that like, it's like nerves that make, yeah like, like giving him she, like, like, she essentially goal. just kind of shocked him awake that's amazing mm. like an adrenaline rush Great. super cool I'm gonna cast um healing word on myself okay woo or cure, it's cure wounds at second level. Okay. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Um, Baby. 2d8. Okay, great. Oh, God. Urgur. Glad we got it. Barely made it out of that one, guys. <laughs> um, you look over with everyone else who's dying. Ooh. So, 13. All right. You Thanks. heal for 13 points of uh, damage. Fuck Lana, yeah. please make a death save. Mm. Hey. But, like, actually do it. Dude. I got you both. I believe in you. Say I got you. Roll that crit, baby. Just roll crit. Just roll that crit. Ah! Oh. 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 oh, so, so close. But that's one success. Uh, Robbie, please roll a death save. 
Here we go. Here we go. Crit money. Crit money. Ah! Oh, but you made it, yeah, that's a successful save. Uh, Nate, please roll a death save. You guys are so close. Fifteen a success. Nice. Keith, please roll a death save. Ooh! Dang! Success. Ooh. Everyone will succeed. Hot Janine, hit. it's your second round. What are you doing? Or your third round? My third round. Um, I am going to. Cast this person that I see riding toward us. Can I see anything closer? Like, how close are they? Uh, 150 feet. 150 feet. Um, well, then I'm just, I'm just gonna wait because, oh, I guess I can do a medicine check on Keith. Yeah, you sub, you sub friends who are dying. <laughs> I'm just gonna no, wait. Try. There's an enemy can... out there. Jacob can heal them, heal them. I think. Um, unless he I can't. All right, you stabilize Keith. Keith! Um, Keith is still unconscious with zero hit points, but is no longer has to roll to, su uh, to succeed on death saves. Good job. Thank um, you, Janine. One more like... <laughs> than uh, when I was a cleric. <laughs> uh, Jacob, what would you like to do? Um, so good. Hmm? Yeah. Lana, did you fail two death saves or just... Uh, Lana is unconscious and dying. Oh. Lana, did you fail? <laughs> <laughs> I have one fail and one... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he, has, he has to make the tough decision not knowing oh, what happened. Oh. Oh. I mean, I don't... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on Robbie because okay. I know that he has healing spells. Um, at That's third fair. level. So, yeah. All right. Robbie... <clears throat> You come awake, uh, you see your bone resetting itself. Um, uh, your bird bones. Um, you know, for, for 14. As you heal for 14 points of damage. Take Robbie, it's your turn. What would you like to do? <laughs> I will cast aid on anybody that's down. Okay, what does aid do? Aid gives everybody five temporary hit points. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, three, three people. So the people Keith are... is still down. Yeah. Does that, that means they're at 5 HP, mm -hmm. but it's like temporary, age, I guess, yeah, Correct. It's, it's HP. So they should probably heal at some point, uh, because after the spell ends, they drop yeah. back down to zero. They just have one action, so. Yeah. So Keith, Nate, and Lana all kind of come awake. <clears throat> because you weren't healed by magical healing, you were just given these temporary HP, your broken bones and twisted legs are still as they are. Ew. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck. Oh, cool. <laughs> I, I hate waking up with oh with broken bones. Uh, um, it's just so, animated. Oh. Lana, what, what 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 terrifying injury do you have? Uh, well, um. Apparently, nothing's wrong with your voice. <laughs> <laughs> My trachea is just fine. I, I think she's uh, impaled with one of the arms of Kazan. <laughs> Oh my uh, and, uh, god, Robbie. <laughs> she said. Well, it, no! it, it's Lana's decision. Uh, I'm not going to in, uh, inflict any specific trauma on y'all. You, you get to tell me um, what, what trauma you want to inflict on yourself. I. It's just got to be good. Okay. Uh, I. And, uh, and uh, Keith, you're up next on this as well. A few things happened to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my. Uh, my knees bent the wrong way. So oh god! <laughs> so I look like a flamingo. Oh, both of them. Yeah. Pretty. Oh no! It's a flamingo. Dance. And I mat. I perfectly was able to get hit by a rock that it skinned off all my hair. I'd been. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I'm bald again. Bald again. again. <laughs> Trauma bald. Yeah. Okay. Literally scalped. Um, Nate. <laughs> So I have a really bad boo boo on my elbow. Oh, and yeah. It stings. Oh no. No, I. And have, that's uh, it. <laughs> that's all. So as I was, um, as I was deflecting missiles to try to like knock the, those big rocks away earlier. So I'm punching and like, spinning with my spear and hitting them and like trying to butt them out of the way. Well, fuck. As I hit the ground, I actually landed on my spear, mm. and it's like through oh. me in a really awkward way. Oh. Uh, and your spear just through your body. Yeah, so it's kind of weird because it's also like, <laughs> it's 
up under, like, and then coming out this way, like, kind of, like, uh, diagonally. Yeah. So, like, even walking is kind of weird because I'm short and I'm on a... I'm basically... I'm skewered. You just kebab yourself. Um, oh, and uh, my my jaw is, like... Uh, just loose? Yeah, it's loose. Like, I can't really talk. So once I notice, I'm like... Ow! Uh, uh, <laughs> and I like, can't really talk either. I'm just like hobbling around. Stop moving! And a broken job. Sit down! <laughs> I take back my heel spell. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That wasn't worth he, it. He, 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 he has fireball on the do. monsters walking around. <laughs> kill it! Kill it with fire! I'm due! Control off the leash! <laughs> what about you? <laughs> Um, so I found out when I threw that fireball the first time <laughs> that um, Newton's law laws actually work with magic. Yeah. And so as as I threw the fireball, I was like propelled backwards Fuck. at an equally like fast rate. And that sh- like shattered my spine oh, and like, no. all of my ribs. <laughs> so basically like I look like I'm fine, but my entire torso is like caved in. Internally. Oh, oh, you dude. like walk like an accordion? Yeah, Keith, you blew your back out. <laughs> we look Not like the first time. At Looney Tunes when they're like walking and they're scrunching. <laughs> you just you just see me rise up from the water and look at all of you like this shouldn't be. Look away. Thanks, Devin. <laughs> Basically, all of us rise up. We turn to Robbie. We're like, kill us. <laughs> v- Vinny Sean in chat made a great comment. Just six people hobbling around. I should not be alive. <laughs> <laughs> End it, please. Oh, God. Um, <clears throat> this writer is getting closer. Can I fix them? Uh, yeah, what would you like to do? I'm going to just cast Cure Wounds one by one. Okay. Well, wait. If, well, I, am I able to do something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I have a, I have a healing spell. Oh, perfect. So I'll cast oh, cure wounds on my my poor knees. Okay. <laughs> um, you as you do, you see them begin to twist back into their original direction, but you feel them being twisted back into the original direction. Oh, I'm gonna cast it at third level. I don't even okay. care. Nice. I, I would um, probably do that if I were you too. Uh, Jacob, what are you doing then? Um. Keith and 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 uh, Nate are the only two that have not taken magical healing, mm. so they're just alive, being pep, uh, by this perpetual magic that has given them these extra hit points mm-hmm. from hell. Damn, Lana, twenty-three. Nice. I'm gonna fix Nate's jaw <laughs> because that's most disturbing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you 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 kind of step over Keith. Who's on the ground? With the clutch. <laughs> His ribs are folded like an old wallet. Like, uh, it's okay, you skinny legend. <laughs> oh my god, you think I'm skinny? <laughs> Worth it. Don't heal me. Yeah. <laughs> ben Richter will love me now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I love being toxic. Oh, I was going to say, this stream is so toxic. I'm glad we got our priorities straight, even when Keith has a broken back. <laughs> it hurts every time Keith talks, but it doesn't stop him. I okay. love this. What's new? <laughs> love it. Uh, uh, how much do you heal Nate for? Uh, I'm going to puke. Don't do that, or I won't heal you. Happy puke. <laughs> I'm sweating from laughing so hard. Don't puke. Not now. Um, so it's good. a two d eight. So, boop. Yeah. Oh, great. Eight. Eleven oh. plus three, so eleven. Eleven. Thank you, you for eleven points of damage. Woo-hoo. <clears throat> um. Whew. Uh, oh. The next thing happens. Then we're gonna heal yeah, Keith. Yeah, if it's my turn. <laughs> If it's my turn again, then I'll uh, healing word who haven't who hasn't been. Just Keith. Well, because does Keith yeah. want to get healing? Word? He looks. <laughs> yes, actually, I do want to. <laughs> After a further thought. Right. It hurts too much. <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine. Keith, you look. You look to the left of you, and you see something that shouldn't be on the outside. Oh, oh no. That's bad. Are you using cure wounds? Yeah. Keith, beauty is pain. Uh, <laughs> well, this course that you write up. Yeah, that's exactly what it uh, is. 13, Keith. And nice. you go and you go to heal and you kind of kick whatever should be inside of Keith that's outside. It kind of reforms. Why are you and kicking me, you ass? <laughs> 
Um, I, I just put a feather finger on your lips. <laughs> this is for you. Oh, wait. Um, can we check what furniture... <laughs> <laughs> survive. Survive. Oh, oh my God. Jesus. There's a couple the stove, scratches the stove, on the, is still, the stove is fine except for a massive indentation. Oh yeah, we we no, can I cast mending on that. Yeah. <laughs> Does mending work on stone? On on metal? Yeah. yeah. I'll say why yeah. not. Right. Mending yeah. is just yeah. any yeah. object. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. You cast the. You get up and you look around at everyone. You just put your hand <laughs> on the stove. Save the stove. And you just remove the dent from it. Perfect. We took so much damage for these pieces of furniture. We better take them. Yeah. We... Um, Crazy. the rider has now come up and they uh, they get off their horse on the uh, on the causeway, <clears throat> and they smack it on the butt, and the horse takes off running. Oh. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> and they walk getting closer. This person's going to turn into a bat. That's how they're going to leave. Mm. And as they get closer, they pull out two swords as they get closer right. to you. I'm going to reach over and cast Bark Skin on Nate. Ooh. What does that do? <clears throat> uh, you have an AC of 16. Nice. Thank you. Regardless of what armor you're wearing. And as they get closer, they throw their head back, which reveals... Uh, which throws back their hood. <clears throat> and you see this uh, tan-skinned woman with this long black hair that's flowing. She looks like Selma Hayek. Oh. Wow. Ooh. Whoa. I'm Ooh. a flirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Naturally. Bard bar, bar just threw in 1,500 bits, hoping this could be mass healing word on the party, but it is unfortunately just inspiration. <laughs> so you have another three in spell. Well, thank you so much, thank Bard. You. Thank you, Bard. It works. I'll take it. And she's like, what, do you, what have you done to my tower? What have you done to my tower? Who are you? Why are you here? Oh. Oh. Um, there was we a... So I, have, I have asked you a question. You uh, answer we're now, or I will. The new stride, and so we were looking for you, actually. And she puts it away. She's like, "Good," and then she collapses and falls to the ground. And you see that she is all battered. Um, oh God! Uh, <laughs> oh, Everybody's dying around here. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I do am a, <clears throat> I'm an opponent of Strahd, but I was not strong enough against her, which is weird. Oh, shit. No. And you just see a, a, a Selma Hayek bleeding out on the ground. A healing w cure wounds her. But I want it to wow. cure wounds for her, but healing word for me. Okay, <laughs> you got a cure wounds. No, no, no. That's fine. No, I get it, Robbie. You did get a cure. You got a yeah, cure yeah, wounds. Go ahead. Go ahead. Cure I rolled wounds. I rolled two D8s for you, bud. Uh, uh, no, uh, <laughs> Whatever. You would be skinny anyways. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. Gotta breathe as her wounds begin to heal. She's like, I thank you, thank you very much. That is very kind of you. So, why have you destroyed my home? Uh, did it was an accident. We are trying to steal your furniture, and it was too much for the elevator. <laughs> But if, we ha if that hadn't been the reason why we were in there, I find that honestly, she she looks. She's like. So you came to see my furniture? No, we came to get information, but your furniture was nice, and then the shit in there was like weirding us out, and we were like, you know what? We did not have time for this. Does she put her finger on my mouth? She does. <laughs> on your beak. On your beak. On the on tip beak? of your beak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. Do do you feel that? As a it's bird? like here. Do you feel you it? You see it. Do you think a bird feels that? Probably. It's like know, touching a bird nail. A a aracocra does. Boom. But like I'm saying, like if your fingernail was super thick, you know, you immediately realize as she puts it that you're like, oh, I can feel things on my beak. Oh, <laughs> I had no idea. Wow, that's a fun sensation. I'm gonna start touching my beak. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Jess, we have to go now. Okay. To... Uh, and and she likes like to my wagon. Wait, Whoa. is there any oh. saving Kazan? What? She was she was Kazan. You know what's funny? I fucking watched like 10 Selma Hayek videos to try to get her accent earlier. <laughs> and I just, I can't even remember what I was doing earlier. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Watching Selma Hayek will have that uh, effect on <laughs> uh, the I bring Kazan's armor body thing. Who's that? Is this? What? <clears throat> she looks, she's just trying to figure out what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I, it's a friend of mine. I'm bringing him with me. Wait, how do you not know who this is? He was this in your room. Yeah. 
Why, why do you think he's a person? Because he was my friend. It was just a sparring dummy. But he what? came alive. What? He was gesturing. And I just found this when I came to the tower. I he didn't understood know that me. Was a thing. He understood me. Do you think that this? Oh. Listen, we do not have the time. Okay, but I'm bringing him with me. It's a fine. Just get in. And she goes and she shifts a couple pieces of wood on the back of the carriage and opens it up. Uh huh. And you see that there are a hundred flasks of uh of alchemist fire or no. 28 flasks of alchemist fire that were booby trapped on. <laughs> well, we were right that it was hey, gonna blow up. And flashback to yeah, me right saying, there. nobody would put something that explodes right next to their house. <laughs> <laughs> Cue the uh, Thank you. music. And at that moment, um, you see <clears throat> three wolves come out from the tree line. <clears throat> fireball. All right, time to go. <laughs> um, do you want to cast fireball on them? Mm -mm. On the wolves, yeah. Okay. Get it, girl. Um, Not on the wood. So Ooh, on the, throw on one the of the blasts. Cast fireball, and you immediately just see like these sharp, and they're kind of limping uh, after the explosion erupts. Oh. Those three fire, uh, those three wolves are are now out of the uh, um, out of combat. They are no longer able to perform. She's like, she's we're like, in combat. Hold on, I'm trying to get through something. Uh. <laughs> um, but immediately as those three wolves come out of the tree line, they're decimated by Keith's spell. Oops. And she looks like, I do not think we can take on all of them. As you see, 10 more come out. Oh, no. Followed by five upright wolves. Oh, no. Uh, do you know how to here. leave? Oh, no. <clears throat> can this Sorry. carriage take us away? And she's like, get in the carriage. Okay. Yep, yeah. I'm in the carriage. We get in the yep. carriage. We um, get the cauldron. Can we get the stove? Yeah. Yeah, we got the stove. Oh. Oh my god. god. Leave the furniture. The Shut the fuck up. Now. You got the diary? Yes, I have the diary. Roll, roll me a strength check as you guys try to put the stove in. in. <laughs> no, pivot. I pivot. Should, no, 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 please make your bed and sleep in it. Huh? No. Wow. I think you mean make your stove. Roll, roll an intelligence check to see if you try to steal the stove. The stove is um, going to be useful. Honestly, yeah. I'm doing it. Just doing throw it. the stove at the wolves. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the okay. worst idea. We've so uh, you're able to you're able to put it in pretty quickly. As everyone's like, no, 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 no. You're like, Dude, and you nice. see it <laughs> kind of cinch in there. Um, <laughs> there's only enough room for uh, four people inside the carriage. Jesus Christ. Um, so someone's gonna have to be on top of the carriage or in the in the riding position as well. Does anyone I'll be on the riding position? Okay, great. So you get on the riding position with uh, with her. Does anyone Maybe, have a yeah. bow or ranged attacks? Do you have anything that you um, have for me? I do. I, I have darts. <laughs> we could possibly save some time, Jacob. Oh, Do you have anything that could possibly save some time? Oh yeah, I'm gonna give Ravi the potion of remove curse okay. that I've been hoarding. Um, you don't have it. Oh, oops, sorry bud. Uh, it's in Janine. Janine has both of your potions. Oops, sorry bud. <laughs> I'm on top of the carriage. I'm on top You're on top of the Lombo? I'm getting inside I'll get the carriage. I'm on top of the carriage with my bud. Okay, so. Lana, Nate, and Jacob are inside the carriage. Uh, Keith, Janine, and uh, Robbie are on top of the carriage. As she gets in front, you see there's no horses there. She takes the uh, bridles and snaps them. And you see this F3 horses just warm Whoa. into existence. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's fine. That, that was super cool. Dick. What kind of horses? Uh, two beautiful white Clydesdales. Wow. wow. Dang. Um, Hi. <clears throat> Big time. And she turns the way around and she's riding down the causeway and you see all of the werewolves staring right at as she's barreling towards them. Oh. Why? 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 Uh, are you asking that? Yeah. <laughs> I tried to kill Strahd. It did not go well. Oh. All right. Well, anyways, let's get, let's try to clear away. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I will, I guess... I only have one spell slot left. Should I? Do As you're know? thinking about this, she's riding forward, and you see the werewolves running at the carriage full sprint. It's about to be this collision. Wait. Um, as she's kind of just going off, you see the werewolves jump into the air. Can we get oh, that alchemy fine. fire? Oh. Yeah, why don't we throw one of the flasks at them? That won't, I think that will only be useful if we're throwing behind the carriage. Also, if she's though. driving directly into them, she must have a plan. Do you have a plan? I yell to her. You're inside. I, yeah, you can't see what's happening. Oh. 
<laughs> We're inside just twiddling our fingers. I just brace myself. <laughs> I'm reading the yeah. diary. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> As you f the cart continues to go, these uh, werewolves jump uh, off the ground, diving right at the carriage. And that is where we'll stop for tonight's episode. <laughs> wow. oh, yeah, God. Well, <clears throat> thankfully, we've destroyed another tower. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> two for two, baby. Oh, man. You know Let's clap. Let's clap it. for that. At least we're consistent. Yeah. Anytime that we go to a place, it will end up in flames. It's like we're and our trophy. You'll know we've been there because the sh shit will be Doesn't completely decimated. Anymore. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you for listening, those that are on the, listening on the podcast. Uh, if you did enjoy this, go ahead and comment below with the, your favorite part of tonight's episode. Uh, what we'll do is we're going to take all those comments at the end of every month and we give away a gargantuan dragon to one lucky commenter. Make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate y'all and we'll see you Sundays. <laughs> Grab your rogue friend, a ranger, and some casters Time to roll, have a good time, but don't burn down the tavern Let's burn down the tavern Time for total party chill There's a critical hit, critical fail Hold your head, see that dragon, we can slay it We'll level up